I want this to feel like you can say something fucked up and just be like, cut that. Like when you called me the N-word three times in a row five minutes ago. Welcome to the Regurgitated Podcast, sponsored by Madam, starring Zach Marshall and Ben Pankin. That's me. Uh, hey, Zach, how are you doing this weekend? No, I'm all right. We're doing this again? <laughs> We're doing this again, the ever, the ever-loving, ever-long <laughs> bit of not saying a goddamn thing at the beginning of an episode. Um, okay, yeah, if you look up a lot of, like, how to get, like, filthy freaking, look at those nips, dude. If you ever look up like how to get filthy stinking rich on YouTube, they're like the first three seconds are the most important. And it's absolutely true. But um, we not define here. logic. We not define here. logic. We're huge. Nope. 83 whole subs. And it's not grown no, because we I can't edit a video fast enough. That's fucking I'm gonna, crazy. I'm going to I'm going to pay like one hundred dollars a day in ad spend. And then you're going to look at the views and be like, whoa, these guys are popular. I don't know why. If you click on the videos, it's just. Yeah, you, yeah exactly. No, no, you're right. That's, that's the way to do it. That's the way everybody does it. Well, yeah, it's how everyone that's how everyone does it. When Mr. Beast says sp- says eh, when Mr. Beast says he spends millions of dollars on every YouTube video, he doesn't mean into the content itself. He literally spends it on ads. Yeah, yeah. on the yeah, going yeah. goes to goes to buyviews.com and, but, and spends uh hundred thousands of dollars every single day buying the views. That's how actually, you do it. We're actually sponsored this week by buyviews.com. <laughs> By views.com. Yeah, we're by by. Are we sponsored by views.com or are we sponsored by by views.com? We well, uh, there there are a lot of people that don't think that bisexuality is real, and we are we do ha- we sometimes have to have sometimes we have by views. <laughs> sometimes, a lot of the time. <laughs> uh, so, the head, so, how are you? <clears throat> how am I? Yeah. How am I? Well, last episode we we uh, we we gave the, the news that I uh, I'm, I'm now freshly have all of my time available. Um, I'm freshly, and so you would think that that would go into making this show great, but you'd be wrong. Um, what show? My, my life is hmm? our hmm? show. Yeah, sure. What about those two Asian guys? <laughs> We need to get on that because the two Asian guys would do a better job at this than we would. You think so? Yeah. We just need like a green well, screen to make it almost like look homey. You know? Can we? Can you just? Can you just buy guests? Can we just go and like find random people like that are not even influencers, just random? I was thinking if, if I could do that right now. Um, I can't do that right now. <sighs> That's fun. How, how, <laughs> you've been buying a, a so uh, uh, Sean. To, you know I do pay for that. We and, do pay Sean and Ethan. I pay. And, uh, uh, well, Ethan's never been on this show. Marsha, I pay in. Uh, what is it called when you when you pay for like sex. views, not sex? So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you pay for like views, what is it called? Um, Exposure. Paying for view. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah you pay yeah. her an exposure. Yeah, I paid. Yeah, I paid Marsha and. Sean in expo and Isaiah too, oddly enough, in exposure. Well, he was grateful to be on. Yeah. That was he, all he needed. Yeah. What I mean, it just shot him right, right the view, through the, the views on his videos went up by ones after that upload. Yeah, and it was me because I had to do some research and not I, I download some videos just for that video. <laughs> so you're 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 buying a car. I bought a car. You bought a car. I got it tonight. Do you want to do like a little uh, review? Do you want to pull up some pictures? Do you want to do a do a little car? Pull how up? do I? How would I want to do this? Because yes, is the, the guy who sold it to you. Yes, is the answer is yes, but I do I have? I don't think I have a picture of the car. I'll be honest. How with are you. how are you christening this bad boy? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to GameStop and picking up this uh, a Pokemon. Not a Pokemon game. They're really, they're, they're, He's picking up a literal Pokemon. There, there, are, there are a few Pikachu's there, and I just want to snatch them up. Yeah, they got guys. a, yeah, they they got a little, they got a little guy now. Um, they 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 keep them in cages at uh, GameStop. How do you know they're in cages, Zach? That doesn't even make any sense. They're Pokemon. Well, I saw the news story. No, oh. well, that makes sense then. They they keep them in little cages. I don't have any pictures of my car. I can lick it, I can ride it while you slip it and slide it. I can do all them little tricks and 
keep the dick up inside it. And ironically, I don't have any pictures of my car. That's not even a joke. I have a picture of my license plate. I have a picture of my license plate. That's pretty funny. I got I a, I I got a picture a, somewhere of my license plate. I got a too. Honda Pilot, a 2017 Honda Pilot with navigation. Um, would you get lost without it? Um, no, because, yeah, me, yeah, actually, I would. <laughs> my, if my phone died, how would I get home without Google Maps? Garmin. Is, is, is Connecticut a place where you can easily navigate without maps? Like, your dumb bullshit aside, like, can a normal person, yeah. like, navigate Connecticut without a map easily? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ar- Arizona is kind of one of those things, too, where, like, you could, like, obviously, if you give me a specific address, I can't just get there. But if you tell me the crossroads of, like, two streets or just in general tell me to get to a town, I don't think I need a map at this point. It's all pretty easy. I can just figure it out. I get in your own. fucking car. You go to 3 Veterans Way, Phoenix, Arizona, 06121. Thoughts on that? Um, Guys there? Uh, do, 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 he just doxed me. Uh, they, yeah. they held a uh, event recently in Phoenix where they had like a gay pride festival. Fantastic. Um, but they held it at the Indians veterans, uh, memorial in the park outside of there. And I just can't help but think that that's like an odd choice. That is an odd choice. Um, like, I guess it's an open park. Like it's just a normal park, but it just so happens to be the dedicated to native veterans. And there's a big okay, so uh, is, facility it, with all of them saluting. Okay. Riot. So when you say that, are you talking about like Native American Indians or like Indians from you India? Know, uh, well, I can I guarantee you it's not it's it's especially in Arizona, it's not dedicated to the um, you know, <laughs> India? India Indians. There's a there's a really awful joke there. If this was 2004, there'd be a, a really awful way to uh, distinguish between the two. Oh. But um, I don't know if it's specifically because there's a lot of stuff around here that's just labeled like Indian, right? Like Indian School Road or yeah. whatever. And I, I wonder if it's like a, a, a just a veterans memorial that just so happens to be in a place that's been referred to as Indian before. And it's just in mm. general a veterans memorial <laughs> or if it's specifically towards native people. I actually don't know now that I think about it. Yeah. I, uh... <laughs> um. What was I going to say? So I got to be honest with you, Zach, right? Today was a fucking I gotta be honest with you too. Today was a fucking shit show. So I'm all, I'm all over the fucking place. Listen, hear me out. I get up, I wake up, start working normal day. Very tired though. Weirdly enough, I was very tired this morning. I, I, I and then I have to do a bunch of car shit last minute. We pick up the car today. I, an hour and a half ago, I got the car home. We had to do so much crunch shit. We had to get the do go to the loan place. We got to, we had to go to the the, the yeah. dealership and do all that. You have to shit. get insurance too before they let you drive it off. While I'm working my job, so I have to be like, okay, I'm off for an hour. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I'm off for an hour. Okay, I'm back. It was a shit show, and we 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 were told that we were going to be seen at f- uh, around five thirty to finish the deal. We didn't leave until seven. 10, 7, 10. Yep. That's how it goes. Yeah. And- Especially if you're trying to like negotiate something. When I bought my car, we walked in um, when they opened, like when they first opened. Mm-hmm. Um, we kind of gave him a heads up that we were going to be there too. And me and my father, very thankful to have him there, kind of negotiated the terms of this deal. And I left with my car and it was dark out. They were thinking about closing. I spent the whole day in there negotiating and thinking yeah. about the car. And what I think is fascinating was it, it was, the, it was like the very last day of the year, right? So they're trying to get the year models off the lot. So if you're unfamiliar, the way that the car years work is they put them out like the year prior, like right now in 2022, the new cars you're buying are the 2023 cars. And then in 2023, your new cars are the 2024 cars. I'm explaining this, but everyone knows what I'm talking yeah. about. Little baby children get confused by this and understand it by like age eight, right? So I'm wasting time here. This is filler. Um, uh, this is bullshit. This is. Um, uh, you gotta, you gotta um, get the ad sense in. So you just, yeah, we gotta, keep yeah going. we gotta get the watch time in. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for sticking with me. Yeah. Re- regardless, though, um, you know, it, the, the point is, is they're trying to get the years off the lot before tomorrow when people start, you know, associating it with the previous year. Yeah. Um, 
there's three of my cars that they have in stock. We spent all day negotiating it. They had a red car, blue car, and a white car. At the very end, they gave us um, some terms that were like, uh, they, they gave me some terms that were like kind of what I wanted, but like the monthly payment on whatever I was trying to do just wasn't yeah. worth it. And so I said, okay, well, I'm going to go to dinner with my family and think about this. And um, you guys close in an hour. Uh, if I make my decision before, then I'll come back and make the purchase. Or, um, you know, obviously you haven't sold them. I'll come back maybe tomorrow. And if I made my decision. And so I essentially left it at that. It's like, yeah, it's a good deal, but I don't know if it's what I want. So fine. I start to walk out and they say, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Just give us like 10 more minutes. They go back, they discuss everything. It, th- that's a negotiating tactic, by the way. Even if you want something, that's even what if exactly it's deal, what my parents do is the walkout. Even, yeah, even if your deal is like worth it to you, just say you need to think on it and try to walk walk yep. out. Because yep. they went back, they talked about it, and they said, "Okay, we'll give you the exact deal that you want, but you have to buy the car right now, and it has to be the white one." Okay, yours now. It's mine now. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't know what. I didn't even think about what color I wanted. But they're like, "You just got to buy the white one." Dude, it's cool. so funny. So there were there were two Honda Pilots that I wanted. There was a white one, and there's a gunmetal gray one. I love that gunmetal gray color. I get it's like very now, like in f- four years, it's probably going to look very cliche. Like yeah. my car is the kind of like um, industrial white. Mm-hmm. Like the, it's not yeah. matte, no, but it's like a mean. blank yeah. white that you see all the time now, especially in Arizona. I'm like, eh, but it's still a good car. I drive it. Um, the gunmetal gray is like in right now with cars. I, I, I love it. I don't know. Yeah. So it's, it's funny you say that. So there is the white and the gunmetal gray. Hate it. The white one was the one I was going for. And we were settling the deal. I was going to get the bank check. Everything was going great. The guy goes, oh, by the way, there's a $2,700 mandatory warranty. We said, oh, no, yeah. there ain't. And we we said, no, not no longer interested. Yeah. So, um, I'm sure I'm sure there's some guy that like works flipping cars that, that'll like sh- hear that and put in the comments actually you want the warranty for blah 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 yeah. blah, blah, blah warranty is a little bit a little bit bullshit you buy if it's a new car buy gap insurance for sure like there's some, some stuff in that that's you should do the warranty is i haven't touched my warranty i paid my car off i own it in full i've not touched the warranty on it at all i they, they're pushing a warranty on me pushing 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 so yeah, so that happened. We already said we weren't interested, and then he was like, "But okay, but here's this warranty." And we're like, "No, no, no mandatory warranty. Fuck that shit." And there's, they're like, "How are we gonna make money?" And it's like, "Well, that's not my problem. I just want a car." So we're like, "Bye." And then mm-hmm. we, so then we went to the gunmetal gray one, which is actually the first one I saw out of the two. I just like the white one more for in, inside uh, differences. And we, uh, we get everything ready. Saw the car, and the, our, our local mechanic saw the car, and tonight. We went over there to buy the car and they're pushing insurance. And my mother is not the kind of person to deal with that bullshit. She and don't play around. She don't, she doesn't play around. She doesn't play around. She thinks insurance is a scam. She thinks yeah. taxes. She wants to abolish the IRS. And uh, honestly, also a racist. Just had to throw that in there. Um, my um, guy. <laughs> <I don't. laughs> um, so, <laughs> Uh, so she's not really, she's not going to bullshit. And she, by the little backstory here today, she was helping me with all the car stuff. She's doing most of the work, honestly, with the car stuff. She was hemming my sister's clothing. She was working a full-time She should job. be a home ec teacher. Dude, it's insane. She's doing, full, doing that. And then she's doing some, one other thing. Oh, she's getting prepared to leave tomorrow. She's pre- packing to leave. She's going to North Carolina tomorrow, right? I thought you were about to say Korea. No, she's not going to Korea. North, North Korea, North Carolina, North Carolina is the, probably the, the safer bet. I would say maybe, um, but, um, I don't know. They got, some, they got some shit down there in North Carolina. They do. There is a place uh, that we they have some bomb ass barbecue fried chicken. You know? Oh yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Something like that. Um, yeah. we're comedians by the so way. She, so she's not, she's not at her greatest. And this guy, we wait, also waited an hour. And this guy is like, okay, let's talk about warranty. And he goes, well, and we're like, not really interested. And, and then the guy just keeps pushing. He's like, well, you should, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's pushing the warranty. My mom's like, I have no, I just move along. I have no interest in this at all. And he keeps going. And I'm like, my mom will just snap at a random, like like this this person. Like she will get very upset and, and, and get like 
very direct with this person. So I was kind of like, you know, and then he would start like a conversation, normal conversation. We'd be like, okay, they calm down. And then he would swing back into the, the warranty conversation. He's a, he's a true salesman. And we were like, dude, we're not. And my mom was like, okay, you gotta read the room a little bit too. You gotta read the room a little bit too. When someone's like, you know what I mean? When the, the, the tension. So Mm -hmm. sometimes, sometimes you gotta tone it down a little bit. And then cut your losses. It got, I mean, she was just like, okay, uh, let's write it down then I'll write it down and I'll get back to you on it. Just to like, just shut him up. And that's, that's what we did, but we're not, I don't think we're going to go for it. Um, and then I drove, uh, you know, what if they repo your car? What if it's like in the fine print that like the mandatory <laughs> warranty don't. and they're like, just get back to me on it. It'll be fine. Yeah. And then a repo man shows up a month later. I got the gun metal gray. I got the gun metal gray one. Fuck yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I, uh, so I like big cars and it's a big car. Um, I, the color, I don't, I'll be honest with you, Zach. I'm a fucking mess. I don't give a shit about how the car looks. I also didn't care about my color, which is why when they came to me and they were like, you got to pick the white one. I was like, fine. I haven't even yeah. thought about what color I want yet. I don't give a fuck how my car looks. I don't give a fuck if my car is dirty or clean. Bro, I, when I was when I had my Odyssey, I would go to McDonald's like, you know, after, you know, college. Oh, I know. I, I would, know a lot about that. I would go to McDonald's. You de- yeah, because you, <laughs> your whole life is because yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> yeah. fat. Yeah. Um, no, so I'll go to Mc- McDonald's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dude, oh, we'll, McGrill's we'll go fire. into fast food again after this. We'll go into fast food again after this, but I'll let you wrap up your story. I'll Mc- give you the common courtesy to like finish what you're talking about. <laughs> McGriddles are so fucking good. Can I just say? They're McGriddles, so good. bro, it's where so the fuck good. was I without them? I've always said McDonald's is like one of the best breakfasts out there, but I would always get the egg bacon cheese biscuit and a hash mm-hmm. brown or some mm-hmm. shit. And then someone's like, you got to get the McGriddles. I didn't know they were pancakes for some reason. Yep. And then I was like, I don't know, cheese on pancakes? Uh Flames. I'm telling you, if you've Flames. never had a McDonald's McGriddle, mm-hmm. even if you don't like McDonald's, if you're like, if you're one of these motherfuckers, it's like, oh, the burgers are gross, the chicken's gross. You don't even fucking have to worry about it. It's it's pancake bread. They can't fuck that up. It's eggs. You could say that the, the eggs are not like the best, like yeah, I mean, they're, or anything, they're, but they're eggs. They're yeah, not putting. Yeah. Well, no, it's but, not fake egg. It's real eggs. It's just it, you know. <laughs> No, they're, they're, they are real eggs. I've, I have I worked at a McDonald's, too. I know they're real eggs. Yeah. But, like, the way that they cook them is very processed. Like, the texture might throw you off yeah. a little bit. But, like, um, you know, it, it's just, just eggs aside from that. Yeah. It, it fucking get – just try it. Just try it. Yeah. We, we got to be sponsored by McDonald's, man. Dude, that would be a big sponsor. <laughs> That'd be a big sponsor. Um, That'd be a big first sponsor. But I, I got a whole thing – because there's been some fat, there's been some fast food news. There's been some shakeups in the fast Ooh, food industry. Is that? Do you, um, do you, but I'll let you finish your bullshit. Did you whatever. say you had news today? I do have some news today. It's not. I only have really, like four stories. So it'll be a really quick. It's not related to the, today to the McDonald's piece. No, 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 no. Or it's just uh, shit, whatever, you, you yeah. rejogged my memory that there's a lot of sh- a lot of shifts going on in fast food, a lot of turbulence going on in fast food. The uh, seatbelt fasten signs turn on dude, for fast of, food this week. Speaking of seatbelt, mm-hmm. dude. Your car <laughs> has none. Cutting no costs. Seat belts. Tink, tink. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, I don't remember what I was going to say now. I actually have not eaten dick today but i've eaten some pussy <laughs> no i haven't i haven't eaten fucking anything today brother man eat pussy Thumbnail. um eat eat dick um <laughs> i don't remember what i was gonna say i it, cars i like the car though period you like the car yeah it's pretty how nice many, how many how many how many how many how many 80, miles Eighty two thousand. how much did you pay for this car Twenty seven thousand. it's a lot of money 27,000 for a 2017 with 82 or maybe it was 78. Kind of new, like that. Kind of, kind of a newer model though. I, I, I car like it. Got fucked. I like it because car my last car fucked. was an 03, brother. See, I got a, my car when I bought it brand new, I think I paid like 23,000. Mm. Brand new car. Mm. Brand yeah. new car. I, I, I've been, I've been advised not to go brand new. Well, yeah, it gets devalued immediately. But the fact of the matter is the car market got so fucked after that. That's a great deal in comparison, yeah. Yeah. regardless. The only um, reason that my car was more expensive is because it's fucking huge. <laughs> I mean, 
to be that, honest. That too. That yeah. too. It's a large, large vehicle. Yeah. I, I want to show you a fucking picture of it, dude. I'm sure you'll put something in post. Yeah. Please put like a clown car with like a hundred clowns Ooh, getting out of it. it in dude, here. good idea. Whoa, 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 what was that noise? Dude, I was talking to Ethan and a few friends on Xbox last night, and uh -oh. um, they, they they make fun of me so hard now, which is fine. Put the zoom in, say it's it's fine. Um, oh, okay. Wait, wait, I, can you wait. Say that again. Say that again. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it in po I'll post. <laughs> I'll do it in post. <laughs> do it again. No, post. Post. Go ahead. It's it's fine. Anyways, I, I was just telling a story and I forget what, what I even said. Um, I forget what the context of it was, but I just said like, oh, yeah. And so I went in my car, beep, beep, uh, and then continued on with the story. And they just fucking like they did not <laughs> let me go past it. They did not let me go past. Why did you beep just, for the car? I don't know. I just thought it was a cute little funny beep. thing to do. I was like, yeah. So I was riding around in my car, honk, honk, uh, or whatever, <laughs> beep, beep, something like that. Um, Dude, that's funny. What? I, I, my, my, do you see that? That's, that is not my dog. That is not my dog. I'll, I'll just tell you that now. You steal someone's fucking dog? Look at that ugly ass fucking idiot. That dog is so ugly, bro. I hate that dog. Oh my God. She's so ugly. And she, her breast smells like ass. Her name's Lexi. Anyway. How'd you, how'd you get this dog? You're just going to let this go by unnoticed? What, what, who, whose fucking dog is that? Uh, it's, so my uncle, I'm watching my dog, my uncle's dog for uh, two weeks for 200 or a week and a half for $200. Pay off the car. That's fun. It's easy money. Um, it's car payment, baby. <sighs> That's true. Yeah. So I'm paying about that much actually per month. 200 ish. Um, Makes sense. Dude. This show will pay for that at some point. Someday. Maybe McDonald's. I'll recoup the costs. Yeah. The, the McDonald's, McDonald's sponsors comes through. Um, McDonald's. Yeah, take a, let's talk about McDonald's. I love I love McDonald's. It's, it, it's not just exclusive to McDonald's, but M McDonald's has been on a bit of a tear recently with some of their partnerships or some of their exclusive deals. Like like a week or and a half to two weeks ago, they released the adult Happy Meals. No shot. That's Wait, you, know, you didn't hear about this? No, bro. They're already sold out. That's already done. I go, oh, dude. I got a little guy right here. I got. Uh, this is my toy. I got it like right there. I didn't the even plan this. I got that? my little. It's a it's a four eyed grimace, dude. Oh, I get get him get him in good light. Hold on, I got it. Is that even okay? What? Is that even okay? Look at him. Hey. How do you Why? light this properly? Why? Oh, I think it's supposed to be like trippy or something because psychedelic grimace. But they got those cute little boxes and everything, and it was like, oh shit, I gotta go get one. So it's been like two weeks now for Halloween. They got the fucking Halloween pails for happy. So now if you go and get a, a meal that they come in the little Halloween buckets, that's neat. And then they just announced today that they're going to partner with Krispy Kreme and they're going to start selling Krispy Kreme donuts. You're fucking lying. At no McDonald's. I'm not lying. Fact checked me. No, it's insane. Dude. Is this, is this going to be on the dollar menu? I don't fucking know. I don't think there, um, I don't think there is a dollar menu anymore. Dude, you need to get McDonald's. You already got the griddles on lock. You need to put a sandwich mm. in the Krispy Kreme donuts. Hire me. I need a job. I was fired. Wait, and that's I work in marketing. <laughs> if you go back to McDonald's. <laughs> I would do, I would do it. I love McDonald's, dude. I'm a McDonald's corporate simp. Please. Uh, this is my petition to get hired in the marketing department. You're doing the Krispy Kreme thing already. Put the sandwich inside the Krispy Kreme donuts. I will buy 20 of them. If you're such a simple... People what? will lose their minds. What's in the... But that's pink? not even it, Ben. What? That's not even it. Oh, there's more. They got other, they got other stuff going on that's not McDonald's. Uh-oh. Are you familiar with the fast food chain Culver's? I've heard of it. I've never been to it. They just... They just they're doing the Curter Burger this month. Um, if this is released... What is, what did the this is released in November. Just know that this is being recorded in yeah. October. Yeah, yeah. Um, Culver's. It's from Wisconsin. They're known for um, their dairy product, right? They got banger cheese curds. They got the concrete mixer, which is just a custard, a frozen custard item there. Best chain fast food dessert item you can fucking get out there, baby. Is that true? But they got the they got the Curter Burger, so it's a burger. The regular, they, they have butter, butter burgers is what they make. Um this sounds so ridiculous, but it's 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 absolutely it delicious. True. Is what it sounds like. About. Well, yeah, they got the they got um, 
so they typically make butter burgers, which is another Wisconsin thing where it's a butter, it's a burger that's made in like a thing of butter. Um, but this one has a giant cheese curd patty, like a deep fried cheese disc atop the burger. I had one. And then additionally, on top of it, I don't know why I did this. I saw on the menu, it said, add cheese sauce on the side. And I didn't even think about it. I don't even like cheese sauce, really. I just saw it and I said, oh, yeah, can I have that? And they're like, yeah. And then I sat down and I was like, fuck, why did I do that? But I took the Curter burger, the cheeseburger with a giant cheese curd on top. The cheese curd was larger than the cheeseburger patty itself. And I dunked it in the cheese sauce. How, how did a uh, heart, uh, heart failure? How did a heart, heart, heart attack? Yeah. How stroke. Did, how, did your, how do your arteries feel? Awful. Oh yeah, yeah, I shit bricks because I also had a, a concrete mixer custard thing after that too. So I that day I I, I, I ate a, a Curter burger dipped in cheese, fries, and then my girlfriend for whatever reason ordered a shrimp there. Um, what? She had other stuff too, but they had shrimp there too for some reason. And so I was like, we'll, we'll, we'll try the, the shrimp. So I, I came out. I had a Curter burger dipped in cheese, French fries, shrimp, and ate a thing this big of just custard. Oh, I was dude, shitting so bricks, much dude. Sugar. I was shitting bricks, dude. Holy fuck, dude. Dude, I honestly I, I really like non-white food. And I only eat white food. What do you mean by that? Explain. Oh, my dude, my microphone limp. I didn't even realize this. Do you see this? Hold on. We gotta no, light this properly. Right Look at this. It's facing down. Do you see that? Oh, it is. I don't know why. Was I doing this the whole time? You're going to have to fuck around in the editing room. No, I mean, I think what I have set up is, is going to fix that anyway, but I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even realize. I didn't realize it either. Um, I like non-white food. I like Mexican. I like a little bit of, I mean, so you like white people. Yeah. I, I'm like, I'm like, I'm sick of the burgers, I, you know? Like I, 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 when I say white food, I don't mean originated in white. I just mean like white culture food, like the burgers, the pizza. The I have fries. something about the I'm the, good. the color in a little bit. Too. You're done with white food. I'm not done with white food. I love uh, different I, I, cultures, I, food and stuff. But you're not gonna have burgers anymore. I know. I, I love. I I'm, don't get me wrong. I love me a good burger. I love me a good fry. I love me a good pizza. But I really like non-white man food. But white man, I I eat only white man food. I eat peanut butter and jelly once a day. Is that a, is that a white food? It's an American thing for sure. Is that white though? Oh, where did that start? Oh, I always feel like white peanut man. butter and jelly is like a ubiquitous thing. But I feel like also everything you look up to, you know what I mean. You can look up something from your childhood, and you'll find some person on TikTok being like, "Actually, this is yeah. a this is yeah. a black thing that you appropriated," which is like I have no fucking. Dude, peanut clue. butter and fluff is fucking fire, and it's never not been fire. Peanut butter and that's fluff a, is so that's fucking a northeast good. thing for sure, which is where you're at. But I, I haven't, haven't had it in years. Up. But it is every time I. Every time I have peanut it, butter and fluff, good, yeah. I didn't like when I went to school because I packed my own lunch um, instead of getting the school lunch um, yeah. for a while. Um, I, I did not like peanut butter and jelly because I felt like it it seeped through the bread and it looked like bruised. Do you know what, what I'm talking fuck? about? It looked like bruised almost. Well, you get peanut butter and jelly, and on the jelly side, it like seeps through the bread a little bit, and you just get oh, purple yeah. splotches, yeah, and it just yeah. it kind of it tasted fine. But as a kid, it freaked me out a little bit. Yeah. So I'd always do the um, peanut butter and fluff, peanut butter and marshmallow, or Peanut butter and honey. Now, I've never had a peanut butter and honey sandwich. I've never had a sandwich. I've had peanut butter and honey before. Oh, He's never had a sandwich. Oh. <sighs> Dude, I might make a fucking coffee. Do you want? We could take a coffee break if you want at some point in this. What if I make one right now? You want to take a, a break right now in the middle of food talk? Yeah, because I'm like now I'm like I'm kind of fiending for something to put in my mouth, and there's no dicks around. <laughs> <laughs> no the, my 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 face when I need caffeine, and there's no dicks around. Uh, All right. uh, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna be right back. Hold on, I'm gonna make coffee. Is, uh, is Sean wanna, coming here at all or uh, no? He said he did say uh, he did ask me. He was like podcast tonight, and I said yes. But there, we were playing spooky games. We were, we, there's eight of us playing four v four. We need Dead someone versus. to judge. We need someone to judge a, a surprise right. contest in a moment, right? Which so we can do it by ourselves. But it might could. be, it, it might be. I feel like it's better with someone else. But we'll lean into the joke a little bit. Yeah. So without him, we will. I'll see if I Should can. Should I get, make coffee too? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Fuck should it. We do, should we make? 
Yeah, coffee, coffee break. Yeah, get, is, what do you got a cure or something? Little, I'll give you a little asset to put in here. Do a little uh, coffee time, and if you're an audience member too, please get a cup of coffee. Yeah, with us. oh my god, dude! Daily, co- weekly, uh, however often we release this week, <laughs> we record coffee break this at like that, like night. We're gonna do every week coffee, coffee break. I'm dude. fine. Dude, let's do coffee breaks. I like it's coffee an, a lot. It's a fuck. I love that fucking zoom in on your face. Coffee <laughs> breaks, dude. Coffee breaks. Coffee breaks. We got it. People, gotta, people watch this show not because it's a good show, but because we stop recording it intermittently. <laughs> Why am I blurring? <laughs> I don't know, dude. What the? It's broken. All right, technical difficulties. Okay, All right, I'm gonna see if I can get in, in, in touch with somebody for uh, for. Have fun. What is that, dude? It's rat poison. Is it actually rat poison? That's such a problem. <laughs> you built the guillotine for the January 6th ride? Well, it was for Mike Pence, but... No cap, no joke. Sprayed, Axe body sprayed right on my asshole so I made sure I didn't smell. It is apparently very acidic, and your asshole is apparently very, very sensitive. Sensitive. Yeah, I mean, it's because... You know, I accidentally hit women all the time. If I'm laughing, it's funny. I made a genuine, like, heartfelt sort of Facebook post where I was like, I I am genuinely, internally anti-racist. Like, racist things do bother me. But then... Like, we need to talk about some real shit. We're going to talk about some real real shit. shit. We're going to talk about they're ready to drop some bombs. Yeah, dude. Welcome to coffee time. Welcome to coffee time with the crew. Welcome to coffee hour. Here at coffee time, dude. After coffee time, we should be real. We should be real honest. We should be real raw and real honest. honest. Yeah, let's straight do it. shots. Let's do it. Hot takes. Let's do it. All right. Let's talk about. Let's talk. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Should I look up hot takes? Should I see like a quick list of topics or something? We should just like a rapid fire. Or do you have Ooh. a plan? Well, I was just I was just gonna talk about like mental health and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. This article is um is by uh. Polyblog, polyblog, poly.ai. I don't know. I don't know uh, 36 yeah. hot take questions to spark a friendly debate. Okay. Um, they're not going to be great, but we'll run through them. Um, animal hot takes. Uh-oh. Um, want your team members to get into debate over whether cats or dogs are better? Here uh, are some fun animal themed hot takes you could try. Number one, sloths aren't as cute in real life. I've never seen a sloth. Uh, maybe I've never I seen have. a sloth in real life. But they're e- cute either. in general. Yeah, I, I guess so. Fuck this article. Uh, cats make better companions than dogs. I think it depends on what level of maintenance you want. I think it depends yeah. on what level period. of maintenance you want in a pet. Period. Yeah. There's small no, there's animals. No argument. <laughs> small animals are great pets for small children. I guess as a general rule of thumb, but not always. Ben's going blurry. What the fuck? Um, pugs Dude. are ugly. I have a pug. They're fucking cute. They're ugly cute. Mm. They're fugly. Mm-hmm. Very photogenic. Um, most of us would have a pet tiger if we could. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you. I don't know. Uh, spiders get a bad reputation. Sure, but they deserve it. Are, are, are we Are we, there's no, Are we? we on the same page in all this so far? So, well, the sp- not the spider thing. You think spiders get a good reputation, or do you think that spiders don't deserve their bad reputation? I guess they mm-hmm. help preserve the ecosystem, but I don't know. Fuck spiders. Um, Dude. I, I was at. I, I, I wouldn't touch a spider, but spiders are so fucking cool, though. They are a little cool. I have a friend. I had a friend when I was in uh, school that had. So I went to school up in Flagstaff, Arizona, Northern Arizona University. If you're unfamiliar with it, if you think of Arizona in your mind, it's all desert and shit. You go up there, it's like seven to twelve thousand feet in elevation. It snows for like half the year. Um, pine trees. It's like Colorado, pretty much. Um, they got tarantulas up there. My friend in college, I, I took one year of college and dropped out, had two of them he found oh, in the true? wild that he just kept. Hmm? Uh, we'll get There's to this. Part well, I, I, I thought you went to, uh, did you not finish college? No. Oh, <laughs> no. I thought you did. I don't know why I thought you no, did. No, Um I still am technically enrolled in a community college that I don't go to. Oh, okay. But, sorry, um, go ahead. Um, that, that's besides the point. I dropped out of school uh, after only one year. They, um... Anyways, they had a uh, uh, two tarantulas in their tank, and at one point we kept trying to convince them that, like, hey, this wasn't a good idea. And they said, okay, well, I'll let them go. I'll be right back. He's not just – they do not just live right on the edge there. Like, it's this whole complex. They live in, like, the basement of this place. They leave. They're gone for, like, two seconds, come back with an empty tank. Said, all right, I did it. 
Where did you put him? They just released. <laughs> you could not have gone outside that quick. There's no way you 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 let you went outside and let those out that quickly. So we have they were gone. So I don't know what happened up here in the northeast. We have these marbled orb weavers, which are big, cool looking. I like, played grounded. I know what an orb weaver is. Oh, is that in is that in grounded? Yeah. Are they like colored cool too? I forget. I don't play as much as my friends. Um, well, it's like it, they can be like green, and a lot of them are orange and like uh, and yellow, and like the the females have these big fat yellow asses, dude. It they they look really really cool. Like and they're they don't they they're not um, toxic. Like you can I would they kill can just walk in your hand. I would kill one. Why would you kill one? Why would I would you kill, kill one. one. Why would you kill one? Fuck it, it's a spider. Well, it, I was in a, I was in Flagstaff again last week. I just it's it. There's a little bit of snow on the mountains. The leaves are turning. Again, I live in Phoenix. I, I'm tired of it. I, I wanted to escape for a day. I drive the Flagstaff. I'm at a bar. I'm just sitting outside. Um, and there's it, it's it's just me. The person I'm with left and is taking the bathroom. I'm just watching football on my phone and drinking my drinks. And there's two guys behind me. I see a spider walk up on the table as all my shit's out. They watch me. I take off my shoe. I had no words. There's just people behind me. And I know they watched me. I just take off my shoe in public and I just go, bam, and then put back on my shoe. And they just laugh. They just laugh. But I get for them, a, a crazy guy in public just took off their shoe and started hitting the table. Yeah. They don't know. I was about to die. Are you so? Are you an, you're an arachnophobe than that? I, I, are you just, I'm not you, afraid of them. I just wish they die. I'm afraid of them like a little, like, right, like, I don't want it crawling over me, but if it was right next to me, I wouldn't be like, ah, it's a spider. I would just kill it. Like, that's it. Mm. I'm the opposite. I would just leave it alone. P- I mean, period. I mean, I, I, sure. I, I, I think spiders are fucking cool. I, I, I have no issue with spiders at all. I mean, I, I don't want one again, crawling on me, but, um, I don't give a fuck if there's a spider six inches away from me. I had a spider one time. Okay. I don't want it in my descending. house. I had a spider descending I, from the ceiling in my Odyssey, my, my, my old car. And I was, I was just looking at it and I had to just blow it because I didn't, I didn't want it to hit my face, but I also didn't want to. That's like, a kill. That's kill a it. kill moment. I, I went and it hit, it hit the dash and walked away. If I am in public, I get this is like I'm in public. It's not in my house when I killed the thing, but it was going to walk all over my stuff. So I did it. Um, if I'm just outside and see a spider, I don't care. If it's inside if it's in your my space. car if or it's in your home, if it's bubble. in my space, it yeah. will die. Mm. That's it. That's it. Same with yeah. most other bugs, really. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't give that much of a shit about them. I mean, I mean, Here's I don't, I don't like bugs you're crawling of, on me, but that's it. If, if you're afraid of spiders, here's a good tip: vacuum them. Yeah. Don't even worry about swatting yep. them. Just get the yep. tube. Boom. Yep. That's yep. it. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Um, brand hot takes. Oh boy. Samsung is better than Apple. Uh, um, Are we really going to open up this on the wait, no, show? Is that why people watch it. this? Let's talk about it. No, let's talk about it. No, because they're pretty much the same at this point. You know, I prefer my Androids just because you get some more customizability and I don't like paying. I don't, I don't like how, like, with Apple, there's not a whole lot of competition there, right? Like, you just buy the next Apple thing. But that's such a whatever take two. Like, that's, you know, they're, most phones do the same things these okay. days. So I don't care. So are we talking specifically phones? Yeah. Well, I, I it it does just say Samsung is better than Apple. I guess it doesn't say anything about Apple phones. Apple is a, is a horrible company for one reason, mm. and they don't include chargers with their phones anymore. I thought that was like an environmental thing, but aren't they getting sued for that? Now I don't too, know, but something? that's so fucking stupid. And removing the headphone jack was dumb, and it all, and it will always be dumb if you don't have a health uh, headphone jack. Get something uh, as an alternative that isn't a fucking extension and a stupid uh, damn like big brick thing at that comes out of the thing. So dumb. I hate it so much. Um, and uh, uh, I, Androids are just more fun. But Nike f- is the best sports brand. I don't, I don't fucking I don't know. I don't, I, don't I don't give a shit. Apple that. Music is better than Spotify. No. I am a Spotify user. Yeah. I much prefer the Spotify user experience. However, <laughs> Apple Music has it down with the transparency on their stats. As a Spotify user, I am jealous of my Apple Music friends who have all the stats breakdowns and don't have to wait for your yearly wrapped. I downloaded a third-party app that connects to the API and gives me stats. It's inaccurate. It, it, the stats are inaccurate. I wish Spotify yeah. just gave me my fucking stats. I don't give um, a fuck. I don't really care about stats. I, I, I don't use Apple Music because I most don't people care. don't. I do, but 
I, I don't I don't care about Apple Music. I, I used iTunes when I had an iPhone, um, which I, I assume is what Apple Music is now is iTunes, right? Yeah. Um, but it's, I, I mean, I've always used I used to, I used Pandora for way too long too. Actually, I used Pandora for a long time. Wendy's has the best social media present. Bullshit. Duolingo exists. Dude, the coming um, the cum tweet. Duolingo cum yeah. tweet. That was um, so good. De- I think Denny's has a good social media presence, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if you're in the sports, Buffalo Bills, banger. Oh, honestly, NFL teams, great social media presence. The, the Los Angeles Chargers released their schedule, a press release, and they made a whole anime like fight yeah, that's secrets rad. about it. like that's like rad. have you do you know what i'm talking about have you seen this i haven't seen it no but i love anime i'm not going to spend too much time on this point but just throw up a little blurb of it i think you'd actually like it even if you don't like football oh dude holy shit i mean i don't have any friends that would holy do this shit i sorry this huge like cut in but we had talked, no it's fine like we're we're making content go we ahead had, we had talked jokingly uh mostly jokingly about having alternate podcasts on their regurgitated channel right oh yeah we yeah. were talking about like doing other bodily functions, and one of them was ejaculating. Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> Would it be funny if ejaculated was our anime podcast? <laughs> I don't watch anime, so I know uh, I, I, it'll I just be you to, by yourself jerking your find, own ego off. I would need to find another person that watches anime, but uh, we could figure that out. I, I'm all down for like the regurgitated as like a brand doing different stuff to have yeah. more content. I, I've always said <laughs> I, I want to do a call-in show. I've always wanted to do a call-in show. Dude, um, I just don't sneeze. have people for it. <laughs> sneeze. Dude, fucking, the sneeze podcast. I thought about I thought about calling the news segment the sneeze or like the yeah, weekly yeah, sneeze yeah, or something. Tell me about that. Um, what could we do? Wait, what could we do for Collins? Collins. Well, I, that's obviously an idea that hasn't been fully fleshed out yet. We need people to actually listen to the full length thing. Uh, yeah, but first, what could right? we do as far as the name? I'm just thinking of like a name convention. Oh, earwax. Sure. I I, I don't know. Uh, earwax sounds like a great music podcast, though. Yeah. Where we just play possum in a peanut over and over again. <laughs> Spit take. Ooh. Spit takes. I like the. I like Ooh. spit takes as a show idea. Ooh, that's yeah, and you do those. But that'd you be like hot those. takes like this though. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. We could be good things. Um, Taco Bell is the best fast food outlet out there. That's Bullshit. Weird. That's just weird. Bull- I that's like weird. Taco Bell. You're weird. That's just weird. Um, I could list five. I could list a hundred. I find better. Um, a quick quick take on Taco Bell. Cheese quesadilla, fire. Everything else on their menu, shit. Um, they got the Taco Bell cantinas in my area. I don't know if you have these out there with Taco. They have like a couple Taco Bell bars out here where um, you can order beer or um, cocktails at Taco Bell. They put like tequila and the Baja Blast and shit. Um, I go into those because like if you're walking downtown or like downtown Tempe or some shit, all the drinks are expensive. You go to the Taco Bell cantina, $5 beer. They do the little, they do the things with the cups fill up from the bottom. Cheese quesadilla out the door on to the next place. That's it. Um, that's my take on Taco Bell. The rest of it's shit. I will not eat <clears throat> anything else aside from beer or a cheese quesadilla from Taco Bell. Oh, not a single thing. Go ahead. I can order most things on Taco Bell. Taco Bell's yeah, menu. good for you. Iron stomach. And enjoy, I say I can enjoy them on one way and on, on one in one direction. Like the Locos Tacos. I don't know if they do them anymore, but the Doritos Locos Tacos I would get every time. Like the, the beefy five layer. Absolute banger. There's like the, the five. I don't know what it's called. It's like a big it's like a box of a bunch of shit. That's pretty fucking good. But saying it's the best is just a lot. I period. Sure. Uh, Amazon Prime uh, video is better than Netflix. Who the fuck has this take? I mean, it's getting there, I guess. I don't fucking know. Amazon Prime video is so fucking bad. The next take Uh-oh. is the ultimate take. Oh, I don't mean to cut you off. If you have something you want to add no, to I that, just, feel free. Uh, let me let me just say, I, I, I Alexis and I went through because we were gonna like do some like movie nights, cute date movie nights, and we were gonna like picking a, a list of movies. And we want an Amazon Prime video because we have Amazon Prime and we want to get watch some of the free ones. Bro, what the fuck? It, it looks like like all fake. It looks like it would like a like, you know how like porn like kind of does like a movie uh like a it's scripted. It has like bad shots and like porn scripted? It's not real. Mm. They weren't really step steps. Dude, there's they weren't she wasn't stuck. I know you said last episode that you haven't had the talk, and I have to tell you, 
normally the time. Normally, when your your step sister gets stuck in a in if she gets stuck in a in a in a in a washing machine, you don't pull her out by inserting your dick into her. Generally, what? Okay. On this note, the step shit. Quit fucking around. If you're in incest, own it. Back in the well, day, it's illegal is the problem. <laughs> not for just like not if it's actually fake and you're just making porn of it. That's not illegal. Well, I think the, God, I I'm think gonna the, sound like God. here's the thing. I don't watch this shit. By the way, I don't. I straight up just don't watch it. It's not for me. I'm done with it at this point. Um, and I'm, I'm being dead serious about that too. Like I don't watch that shit at all. But back in the day when I was younger, and you would see mm-hmm. that incest stuff come on your page every now and then, you'd get the step label. But most of the time, it was like brother walked in on me doing mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. if you're gonna be into that be weird and fucking own it don't hide around this step shit weird bs and now, now it's all over the front page and it's it's it's, it's yeah. too much yeah just be into it yeah just I agree. exist I come on there's no need to to hide who you truly are i think we that, we know we I, know what your end goal is i think that the step shit is because i don't i th- as far as I'm, I understand, like the biggest, I think Pornhub does this where they don't allow if, if you're trying to act like it's like your birth blood relative, they're just like, oh, you can't even, don't even like act like that. Freedom of speech, dude. Where's <laughs> my porn, bro? Dude, Donald Trump was right. They're curbing freedom of speech in this country. <laughs> Put in the clip of him saying he wants to fuck his daughter. I've said that if Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Oh, you know what I'm talking that, about? yeah, that was a good clip. That was, that was a, a good, good clip. clip. Donald yeah, Trump has a lot of good clips. That was too, one of them. Too, which is kind of cool. Okay. Yes. This next hot take. Podcasts are not worth listening to yeah no i, I agree i agree. I, I, don't want I have one in, i have one in my head that is worth not worth listening to harry styles is the best performer in current times what who's this written for like i don't know 20 year old girls i don't know celebrities like i know who's the harry styles is but i don't I know who harry, i don't know who harry styles is i'm into music i'm into music for sure i have found out recently and this is okay Full transparency moment. Okay, this is going to come off as bad. This clip could be taken out of context uh, very quickly. Mm-hmm. But I, I want I want to be transparent with everyone in my life, and I suppose publicly too. I feel like I have some internalized sexism that I don't actively try to do. I don't actively try to do this, but it's something I've noticed subconsciously. I am not aware of most female celebrities. Like if I'm having a conversation with someone and they're bringing up all these female actresses, I don't know their fucking names. And it's not something I actively try to do. I feel like it has to be a subconscious thing. And I I don't know a ton of like male celebrities either, but by far I know more of them than their female counterparts. It might be the same way, but I don't don't think about it. I don't give a fuck about celebrities. Well, I, you know, I, I don't necessarily do either, but I've noticed through conversations with people that they'll be bringing up all of these names and I'd be like, I've never heard of them before. And they're like, what? How have you never heard of so-and-so or so-and-so? Yeah. But I, I find that it's more frequently with the female celebrities than male. And again, I'm not saying that to say anything negative about female celebrities. I'm just saying it's something I've noticed within myself. I don't know what the fuck it means. I actively try not to do it, but uh, I mean – it's just an observation I've noticed about myself. And I say this about everything. You can't improve yourself as a person. You can't get better at something without acknowledging the problems that exist within you. Here's here's which here's, is why so many racist people say, Oh, I'm not racist. That yeah, bullshit. Yeah, me you either. think some whack shit all the time. You just don't acknowledge it yeah. and don't learn from it. Fuck you. How 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 clean do you keep your YouTube sub box? Oh, I mean, what do you mean? Like, do you only keep it? your youtube subscriptions to who you actually watch oh no i mean i by the way i've had my youtube account since like i can check right now it's been a long time actually ethan was with me when i was a little kid when i made it um let's go to your channel about 2010 damn i've had I've, i've had my youtube channel since i was uh 12 years old so yeah um i've i've it's not clean yeah, I know. Did that same YouTube channel? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've, I've switched over YouTube channels since I made my first one. I think my first video was in 2008. 
Um, but does it um, tell you how many people you're subscribed to, like total? I don't know if it gives you a total number. But my question is, how many like do you have any like specific YouTube uh, women YouTubers that you watch? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I would have to look. I follow God, so many more. There's dudes. this. There's this lady, and I don't want to guess her ethnicity, but there's this lady that makes educational content that's banger. Uh, I don't know her name. Uh, God, is there a place where I could just view all my subscriptions? Here we go. Uh, ooh, uh, Eli Wood Nguyen. She's cool. She makes food Never content. Heard. Never heard of her. Uh, she's like a YouTube shorts creator that makes uh, food shit. Um, a lot of brands going on right now. Some of my friends. Uh, <laughs> so far, not a ton of women, but also I don't like the way that this is sorted either. You realize over time you become more and more sexist. Yo, I forgot that I was subscribed to Camera Dancer 100. Who? <laughs> Camera Dancer 100, baby? Come on. Nope. Nope. Uh, I guess this is a musician, but Callous Way. Give Callous Way a big shout out. She needs more attention in general. I'm That's subscribed to a lady named Marissa Clardy. I have no clue who she is, but she has 3,000 subscribers. I got to figure out who these people are. I'm subscribed to so many people on YouTube. I keep I'm subscribed screen. to Chloe She. Chloe Shish. Subscribed to Laura Zombie. <laughs> I, I see, I'm I, sure some of these people are women, but a lot of these are like branded accounts, right? Like, I don't yeah. know if this is a male or female by the by the name, right? Like, um, I just I think it's a matter of connect. Uh, uh, what do they say? Um, you can't relate. You, well, that's you, true, but I know there's like female people I like. You, you know, I follow, and this is gonna this almost is gonna sound bad. I follow more women on twitch that i that i am subscribed well uh sus alert uh <laughs> something like that i don't know i don't know if that's true actually because i follow most of the uh, i'm subscribed to the same people on youtube that i'm following on twitch for the most part yeah it's, it's also weird too because the most like artsy stuff i follow like like again with youtube honestly at this point i just let the like algorithm decide for me like i don't check the sub box at all anymore yeah. so i'm subscribed to like probably like thousands of youtube creators that i just never even see in the first place i keep my um, sub box it, very clean i gotta say i i say that i could see that about you but the point is that with youtube the stuff just comes to me with whatever youtube gives me right like i'm not actively looking at who i'm subscribed to youtube just knows the content i like and pushes it towards me and a lot of them are females and a lot of them are males whatever i'm not actively seeking yeah. it out but for me the area of like the art and creative side i pay the most attention to is music and I feel like I have a pretty diverse taste in music across genders, race, genres, whatever. Um, but like, again, I'll, I'll be having a conversation with someone. And again, obviously, I can't even bring up a name because I don't I just don't know them. But they'll bring up some female actress or something. And I'm like, I have no fucking clue yeah, who you're yeah. talking about. Exactly. And it's like a shock to everyone. Yeah. I, I, yeah. The thing is, I don't give a remotely a remote fuck or shit about a remote fuck a remote fuck or shit about uh, celebrities yeah so the thing the thing about it is that i i i okay i had this issue more so in high school and i know that we talked about this and we got a bunch of views on a video um but the whole rooster teeth stuff happening oh we, we talked about this oh. last week too oh yes now yeah. that rooster teeth is finally on a major decline yeah. i wonder if our views took off on that video because that was a big rooster teeth video i bet it hasn't but i'll check so th i it reminded me i dude i first of all can i just say my the whole cagdu channel was my attempt at rooster teething and i said i think i've said that before on the podcast and mm. I didn't ever want to admit it, but I was like, oh, that was a cool idea. I should do my version of it. And it ended up to be the same exact thing. I would do, I, and I did that constantly in the Cagdu era. Mm. Right. Since this whole stuff, st stuff started coming out, whatever. I've recently really been enjoying old Rooster Teeth content. And I know that sounds kind of backwards because the, the whole thing is that like, oh, back in the day, everybody was an asshole. But I'm like, the content but the content's is, fallen off in general. And it, it yeah. just reminds you of like a more innocent time, even though behind the scenes it yeah. wasn't. And I mean, I was watching like I was watching like 20, like 13, 12, 13 to 2016, 17, even the 18. I, I was I was loving it, bro. It was so fucking good. But. um, um, Why did I bring that up? Because Rooster Teeth is falling apart now from the inside. 
No, I, didn't I mean, watch- it might still exist. I mean, who? When, when I say that, I don't mean that, like, don't pull this up 10 years from now and be like, look, Rooster Teeth still exists. But R- Rooster Teeth, as you know it, is not going to exist yeah. in 10 okay. years. Oh, that's, It'll that's, that's, change that's significantly. That's what I wanted to bring up. Okay. So when there, when a new cast member would, when I'd watch an Achievement Hunter video, and a new cast member would show up, I would be like, ugh. You know, it would be someone that I had no problem with, but I'd be like, oh, not not Jeff, Jack, Gavin, Michael, you, yeah, you know, not your Ray, OG you crew, know? yeah. Um, I, I'd be like, oh, and then it would happen more. And I'd be like, oh, I'm not going to watch that video because I just didn't know the person. I didn't relate to the person. And sometimes it would be at the time. Sometimes it would be a girl. And I and I mm. would not know the girl. And I, I found the ladies of Rooster Teeth to be honestly pretty funny too. So, like, uh, by the way, Elise Williams of Funhouse is like one of the funniest fucking, fucking people hilarious. No, that exists. Who is that one lady? There was this one lady from the um, Rooster Teeth crew that like went over to Cow Chop at one point and then went to Funhouse. But at first, she was like an achievement hunter girl or something. I forget her name, but she's pretty funny too. Um, I forget who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. Because I'm, I'm thinking, I know all the girls that worked at Cow Chop. <laughs> uh, do, do you know? I, I've been watching Cow Chop stuff too, too recently. I've been down like an RT fucking like slide, bro. Um, but um, holy shit, dude. Uh, I would watch a video and I would not know someone in it and I would just stop watching the video. And it's weird, but I'm like, I don't, I, you know, well, I, I have that connection with the people that are already there i want this is my comfort video you know like, why faces and thumbnails do well it's because you develop a connection with a, a personality online and it, it makes you in, more invested in their content and and the whole thing about rooster teeth is that like it when i started watching it was 2013 and <laughs> like you know ray was on his way out you know it was it, it was still doing really good i think they were actually gaining subscribers at this point um um, but I would, I would, there would be a video with like Carrie, Carrie Shawcross, like an achievement hunter video with Carrie Shawcross or someone in it. And I would just be like, I don't care. And I would not watch the video because I'm just not well, used to, it's not one of the OG for, crew. For me, it, it had nothing to do with even the, um, I know that you're, you're not saying it has anything to do with them being female either, but like Carrie's for me, just in, in, in general, for me in general, it was like, I was growing up around that time and like, I started to outgrow that content in general as they were making those changes and the personality mm-hmm. swapped mm-hmm. out. And it's just, for me, I outgrew it quicker than most of my other friends. And that's not even a comment on like maturity or anything like that. It was just like, I was changing as a person during those times, they were changing in content and personalities. And it just, you know, yep. like that's it. That's really yeah. it for me. And I just stopped watching it pretty much entirely, except for fun house. Fun house was really fun until it, uh, uh, uh until no, no, nothing, nothing yeah, weird happened something. at Funhouse. I don't no, know. What you're, no, nothing no, weird no. happened at Funhouse at all. <laughs> um, no. no, but like the the thing is, is you get so used to somebody making that connection with somebody, and it's tough because you relate to the people. Like we you, would, by the way, interjection. I, I know I'm cutting you off. Sean would be the guy we catch jacking off in the office, wouldn't yeah. it? Yes, it would. Be. <laughs> I no, mean, no question. It wouldn't be a question. God. Um, but we knew that going in with him. It's true. It's we true. love our little Shawnee boy. Um, but like a, a woman, like maybe a Mika or like a, not so much a Lindsay, because Lindsay, I kind of was, was that who before. I was talking about? Lindsay? No. Uh, but so maybe? The, there was a there were two different Lindsays. The Lindsay there was a Lindsay that worked at Cow Chop, and there was a Lindsay that worked at Achievement and works, I think, at Achievement Hunter. Maybe I people. just got them mixed up. Did yeah. one of them go to Funhouse? Yes. The one Lindsay from Couch Up in the Fun House. Yeah. I think that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. I think that's who I said was funny. Yeah. And she is funny. Um, but um, it, it was just, it was, I would not connect with them. First of all, it would be, I'm a guy. That's a girl. So I immediately would have that disconnect. Right. And then I would, wouldn't, I would also just not know the person. So it made it even more hard for me. And I remember that being like, I noticed that and I'm like, am I? Am I a fucking sexist? And it really just boils down to what what you can relate to. And I mean, if you want to deem it sexist, that's on you. But it, what the 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 it was just unfortunate because I. But I, nowadays, I mean, I watch a ton of uh, you know uh, creators, specifically Twitch streamers, um, uh, female, male, and you know group of people All in the hot tub category. 
Yeah, there's there's a lot of them in the hot tub and slots categories that are just just fire, bro. There's like the best streamers alive. Um, Why has no one combined that? Why has no one been like, I'm in the hot tub and I'm playing slots? Someone has to have done that. You know, slots is banned though now, right? Yeah, I do know. Yeah, yeah. Which is uh, um, a W and I, I am O, but that's just me. Look, here's the thing. I have my vices, right? Mm-hmm. I have my vices and I gamble. Yeah. Actively. Yeah. But... I also acknowledge it shouldn't be promoted. Right. You know, on, on a similar note, sports betting is now legal, uh, at least in my state, but across, it's, it's exploding. I mean, the, more states than ever have it legal. My state recently, as of last year, legalized it. And I, I think it should be. I enjoy it. I partake in it. And it's it's something that I think we should have the freedom to do. However, I see ads for it so much. Yeah. I, it's promoted to, you know, I understand kids can't do it, yeah. but if you go yep. online, yep. all those steak rubet sites and whatnot, you can do it as a kid and it goes unchecked. Um, the, the way that it's, and I get, honestly, there, there's some really interesting things where like, if you report yourself um, as a gambling addict, you will be banned from all casinos permanently and all sports books. You're yeah. on a list. Yep. I think that's Good. awesome. I think that yep. it, nothing else, you can't do that with a bar. There's no list where you're like, I'm an alcoholic, don't serve, serve alcohol to me. And then you're just perma banned from all bars. That doesn't exist in the United States, but yeah. it does for gambling and that's sweet. But the way that it's advertised, it irks me a yeah, little bit. It, 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 I don't think it should be promoted. I think it should be legal completely. I just don't think it should be promoted in this way yeah. that it is either. It's It's, it's odd. Um, I know people that get, can, can get really fucked. You know, you, you, a lot of people, I've not a lot of people. I've heard a few cases of people putting a fuck ton of money into to, to getting addicted to sports gambling. <laughs> Did and, I tell you about how I lost, um, Oh, <laughs> like a stupid amount of money in Vegas when I went last time. I think, I'm going to Vegas next week. Actually, I, I think you, t- you said that on the podcast didn't you, I think I said it. I don't think I told the full story. So, I, at this time, I had a job and I was making good money. And um, Ethan and his other friend, Ethan, flew out here. Um, me and my girlfriend, we drove up to Vegas. And I, I had, I had disposable money. I was making some pretty consistent good money. And I, I was like, I know I've gambled a little bit in Vegas, but I've not, I've not done the big bet. Like I want to say that I like, you know, like I want the story of everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I know. I really was having the picture that my friends would be around me or whatever, and they'd be like, ah, oh, going crazy or whatever. Instead, Ethan and Ethan were tired. They went to bed. Um, I I took out five hundred dollars to gamble. Okay. I took out five hundred dollars to gamble. I start off. I go to the blackjack table. I'm good at blackjack. I took out um, fifty dollars. I want it can't turn into a hundred, and I turned it into three hundred dollars. Yeah. So I turned fifty dollars into three hundred dollars on blackjack. Yeah. I'm feeling good. Yeah. So I, in total, that's it's not quite eight hundred. It's like seven hundred and fifty because you minus the fifty for the first bet or whatever. I put it on one roulette spin. Yeah, no, you and I yourself. lost. Yep, you <laughs> I lost. Over. Yep. And I remember, I remember, I told everyone I was going to do this that night. And we wake up and we go to breakfast the next morning. And it's been like a, we had the drive there. We're checking out and everything. It's been hours. And we're sitting down and the other Ethan is, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm referring to you as other Ethan and you're watching this, but you got to know that one Ethan is known here and the other is not. Um, he, he, he's like, Oh, how did your gambling go last night? And Ethan, the Ethan, you know, it was just like, if he succeeded, we would have heard about it like 20 <laughs> yeah, times yep, over by yep, now. Yep. And, but, but I told them what happened, that exact story. And the look on his face is to like, you did what? <laughs> it's like, yeah, I lost yeah. like eight hundred dollars last night. I'm, which, I'm, I'm really, I, yeah. I'm really happy that I never used one of those addictive vices. Like, I never picked up smoking or anything, or you know, drinking really or gambling. I like sometimes, you know, I haven't done it in years. Coffee, I, dude. Coffee is horrible. You're too I, crazy for the Mormons. Yeah, I'm too crazy. <laughs> yeah, we have um, down here um, soda bars and soda shops um that do like fancy sodas and shit because that's like up in utah mm. um that, th- like, that's me. like their alternative to 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 <laughs> probably their alternative to like you're going out and drinking alcohol yeah. um and there's a ton of mormons down here in arizona too and so they have a, a bunch of them so i i i i some you know 
for funsies, I will get a scratch off. Well, I haven't done it in years, but like sometimes for funsies, I'd, I'd get a scratch off and I'd, I'd lose then a dollar and the max I could get is like a hundred. So it's like, it's not a big deal. Um, but I never like, and I mean, and when I would win, it would be like, okay, let's buy another one or another five or whatever. And I would lose the money. And I, I essentially just played until I lost the money. It wasn't like, I already separated myself from the money. I was just kind of like, okay, let's see how That's far we have can to go. do. Yeah. But, again, keep in mind too, when I lost the $800 in Vegas, you have to understand, I took out that money in cash before I went. Yeah. Because I was not going to allow myself to. Yeah, you have to, to separate yourself from it. You do have to just, when you take out the money to gamble on anything, you have to acknowledge this is money like that I'm putting in for this fund, yeah. for this experience. And I'm assuming it's just paid. Like yep. that, I'm assuming like that money is just out of my account. Yep. Yes. It's, um, no, I, so I, I mean, I never got like super into any of that. Like I don't, I mean, I drink a beer, I, I social drink a little bit. I've never, I don't think I've ever smoked in my life is chai tea. Most you've ever what in your life? <laughs> I was I was waiting for your reaction. The only smoke. Th- the only thing I've ever smoked in my life. Okay, you're baiting me for some story. Chai just tea. tell it. Is chai tea? You just tell your story. Anyway, get it over with. <laughs> so okay. Wait, so, how did you smoke chai tea? No, I'm, oh, I'm, no, no, play. oh no 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 no! I'll give you the reaction you want. I give you the reaction. Hold on. I smoked chai tea. You smoked what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Tell your story. Um. Okay, so I, uh, I'm I'm the friend in my friend group that doesn't smoke pot. I and I've always I never smoked pot. And I don't really drink that much. You know, I drink socially so once in a while. I didn't I didn't really drink underage either. Like I had I, I think I had a, like two maybe two or three beers max underage. Um, and all you know, uh, all my friends would would drink. Um, and uh. I was known as a kid that didn't smoke. And one, one time half of my buddies were at, at out at a camp in like Cape Cod or something. And we, uh, one of my friends just sent a video of me smoking out of a bong to the, to these guys in Cape Cod. And they're freaking out. Little do they know I was just smoking chai tea out of a bong. And, um, it was fucking, it was a funny video. And I think Dude. my buddy still has it. It is, it is, it, it was a pretty funny video. And I know that, that everybody had a crazy reaction. Cause I was so like, I was like, oh, I'm not going to smoke weed. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, but um, yeah, but I, I was my, my, what I was just going to say is I I, I mean, caffeine uh, is the worst thing I got, which is really just not that bad to be addicted to. How's your I coffee, mean, by the way? Uh, gone. Oh, shit. I just made espresso. Oh, They're like half espresso full, uh, half, half, half and half double espresso. Full of flat white. What? What is that? Like it's backwards. I can't see it. I oh, I support Rogan off my beat. <laughs> I support the ten acre woods. This is a oh. a, uh, a a a a a a not a hobby farm. Gone. It's, it's oh. a dude. You got fucking. It's a farm in Canada, Manitoba. Uh, that Alexis. Did you go and to I, Canada? No, Alexis and I have been watching on YouTube since we started dating. Um, and uh, I I have we have talked many a time about how. Uh, we want to go there to get married. So that'd oh, be cute. So be nice. Cute. Yeah. Am I invited um, to the wedding? Nah. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. No. Uh, so uh, we were, th- we were talking about this, like weddings are so fucking expensive, right? So we were They're thinking of expensive. doing justice of the peace, getting married, you know, just her and I You could do a metaverse wedding. Yeah, true we did meet in vr um yeah. so uh we were talking about doing like a justice of the p uh, this is like this is gonna age really badly if she leaves me in a month for a guy named gerald that has really nice hair um that, oddly specific <laughs> but go ahead um but um jerry for short his last name is actually hair and um i could think of a last name fast enough <laughs> um, oh styles i, yeah, I get his jokes worst. now um Oh shit! He uh, could he could take he could steal your girl though. I could he could steal my girl. Um, but uh, we had talked about doing like a justice of the peace meme, and then uh, telling everybody like, oh yeah, we got married justice of the peace. We're not we're not having a wedding until later on, and then later on doing the the wedding portion. I haven't asked her to marry me yet uh, or anything, so this is like again, this could age really badly. <laughs> but let's you know, fingers crossed, fingers crossed that she leaves. Um. Still thinking about Gerald. 
with the hair. The blonde yeah, hair. What does that to do with the fucking farm in Canada? Oh. You're getting married there? Something well, that's, that's the that's the dream is that we get married there, yeah. I, okay. I really like that. Um, was there something else I was going to talk about, or should I continue on the hot take? I, I, I do have. I want. I have something I want to talk about. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Samsung or Apple, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Fuck, I had something. I forgot what it was. Okay. Well, I, the rest of these are kind of bullshit, but we can we can we can just float through. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Oscars are boring. Not yeah. anymore. Yeah, uh, well, a slap, but yeah, I mean, Oscars are boring. Period. What the yeah, fuck? Sure. I didn't even. Uh, I don't even know they happen until the day they happen. Game of Thrones was overrated. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. No. I mean, game. Game. Sorry. Okay. Game of Thrones fan here. Uh, and okay. House of the Dragon fan. House of the Dragon is fire. Uh, no pun intended. Um, game of Thrones was <laughs> incredible up to season four or five. Six was even pretty good story wise. Not as great. Seven and eight were trash. Period. So this is the dichotomy of this show. He watches Game of Thrones and House of Dragons. I don't. I watch uh, Breaking Bad and Better yeah. Call Saul. He don't. Did you and watch then Walking we Dead? can't relate in anything. Um, you know what's funny? I watched The Walking Dead when it very first came out when I was younger. And I watched the pilot episode with my parents. And I thought it was fantastic. Um, the pilot episode of, of The Walking Dead. I then watched the subsequent three episodes. So four episodes total. Did not like the rest of the yeah. even the first season. I did not like the rest of the few episodes I watched. So I never watched it again. I watched and episode. I heard it went on for too long. I watched episode one and I was like, eh, don't really care. I'm the opposite. I liked episode one, but not the rest. Yeah, I think I think I was just in the in the my dick was deep into Game of Thrones and I was like, eh, don't want to get into the new one. I'm and now I watch anime to get the those. fantasy <laughs> shit. Doesn't do it for me. I don't like the whole fantasy shit. But do, now, so now I get it. Now I watch. Um, you know, my let me just say my favorite show was Naruto, and obviously that is nothing like Game of Thrones. But I really love really deep, intricate stories where I can remember a lot of things about a thing that nobody cares about. I love that shit. Go ahead. World of Warcraft is still the best video game ever. No, <laughs> what? Yeah, okay, okay, I mean, World okay. of Warcraft is fun. Okay, I played it in 2015 with my buddy Mike, who uh, who get a buddy I love. Mike. I have a buddy named Mike. Um, we played in 2015. We did uh, a Mist of Pandaria. We were both pandas. He was a healer. I was an archer. We were having a fucking grand old time. Um, a gay old time. And then uh, I quit after probably like 30, 40 hours of playing it. And then uh, years later, you know, maybe like a year or two later, I started playing again with uh, with Evan uh, and Mike. And then we, we were just every so often play now final fantasy 14 is out and there's no reason to go back to world of warcraft go ahead marvel movies lack imagination i've only seen a few they're fine they're fine yeah they're i mean so i guess yes i, I don't know i really like black um, panther on to uh fashion hot takes oh, well. i miss <laughs> bootleg jeans from the first time around i don't know what the fuck that means i, I that miss bootleg either. jeans from the first time around was there a second wave of bootleg jeans we're skipping that one crop tops are the best i can't i can't answer this question i can't I, no. I, no i can cut short. this into a crop top uh, please uh <laughs> you can wear denim on denim it's a look it's who, a look. Who wears denim on denim that look that looks like a dumbass? There's a certain like rapper or singer that wears denim on denim and everybody makes is fun it of them riff for raff? It. No, maybe my, actually. My main goal is to blow up yeah. and then act like I don't know nobody. He has the fucking <laughs> shark teeth. I don't remember yet. I saw Riff Raff in person. Did he bite you? Yes. Now I'm super raff. <laughs> wow i was bit by a radioactive riff rap. no i saw him at a ufc event in vegas and he was the only celebrity asking people to take pictures with him um oh, sad though <laughs> everyone really sad. should try please please put the my main goal is to blow up video on here it's my course, favorite thing course, ever my main goal is to blow up and then act like i don't know nobody <laughs> everyone should try brightly colored hair once not everyone um uh, wait what is brightly colored? Is that like neon? I'm assuming like ninja hair or something. So if I like yeah. ble go bleach blonde, that doesn't count. Because that was fun. I don't know. Bleach blonde. You, I, you would really go into the whole Eminem thing then, huh? Oh, uh, I actually did. So it was the whole thing where it was like, um, 
you know, I'm going to do what you expect me to do because people, I would only listen to Eminem and shit and, and everybody knew that. So I was like, I'm going to do exactly what you expect me to do. And it just made me look like more, more of a douchebag. Um, but ble- being bleach blonde, I did it recently. Um, not bleach blonde. I did it. I was blonde. I did it recently. Kind of fire. Should do it again. Um, bro culture has led to some questionable fashion choices. Absolutely. No, yeah, bro sure. culture is sick, dude. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Look at this shirt. You saying this is questionable? The non-tent, I, dude. I, 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 I <laughs> look at this Budweiser shirt, is dude. It, is it? A, is this it is questionable? Bad, to, dude. You can just see me drag my titty. That's so unfortunate. Um, is it bad to have a shirt about another podcast on our podcast? No, it's fine. Promo- watch Promotion, this man. one. Yeah, watch this one. Get in here, everyone. Get in here. Get in here, everyone. <laughs> we spread love here. Unless you're a freaking. Um, Thank you. Pineapple is the best pizza topping. Fuck uh, off. I don't hate pineapple on pizza. The best. Fuck you. Pop tarts are overrated. Pop tarts are adequately rated. They're where they should be. They're neither underrated nor overrated. You know what, They're Zach? fine. I never thought about it. I like pop tarts, but I think that they might be overrated. Okay, that's fair. I feel neither strongly. I or... think we're supposed to debate, though. When you, yeah, this, is I, I, this was proposed, these are hot take topics. I proposed this initially as like lightning fire questions. Though. Okay, okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but you're, we can you're... debate them, and it has discussed some debates. So I'm thinking, run through as many as we can. If we find something we should debate. That's good then idea. We'll, you, you, then yeah, we'll debate about it. We'll find what we feel passionate about. Deep dish pizza is the best. No, mm, it's all right. It's good. It's not the best. Yeah. Um, cheese should be featured in every dish. Who has this opinion? Yo, dude, I'm out here eating fucking ice cream with cheese on the top. What the fuck? What is this? What does that what? mean? I don't. I don't. I don't know, man. Drinks don't need glitter on it, dude. Preposterous. <laughs> Preposterous hot takes. Enjoy your microplastic, ladies. Nobody truly likes avocados. Fuck you. Avocados, avocados are kind of good. Good. Yeah. I like avocados. I live in the land of avocados. Exactly. We agree I, I on like everything. Them. It's so funny. <laughs> Well, that's gonna, good. I feel like sometimes yeah. we're so far apart. Yeah. You th- watch Game of Thrones. I watch Solly Boy, and that's it. True. Everyone should go on a cruise vacation at least once. No. If you want. If you, well, I, I might, but like, I don't yeah. think everyone should. Yeah. American road trips are overrated. Hard disagree. American road trips, fire. So, depends what road you take. I don't give a shit. I just like seeing new things. I America's like, a truly free country. You could be on the open roads. Like, I, I, there's so much land. American I, road trips, fire. I like, I like being on the road as long as I'm not driving. <laughs> um, but, um, Oh, you're a passenger princess, dude. I I am a it's little, okay, me I'm too. a little pillow princess too. Tell you what, little man. But I uh, I like both. I like driving, but then also if someone offers to drive, oh, I'll I'll I, lay down. I that's hate. Fine. I kind of hate driving. Hmm. I I mean okay. that's that's my I issue. hate city driving. I love driving if I'm just out on Posting, my own, yeah. enjoying some shit. I hate being in the city. In dealing with some shit driving, yep, yep. it pisses me off. Yep, and I I live in New England, so you know that. I mean, that's why I hate driving. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I remember when um like the little car GPS things. Maybe not when they first came out, but when they first became like the Garmin. Newbies. Everyone was buying. Yeah, everyone yep. was like buying them, and it was like a commodity. All of a sudden, my grandfather had one. He lives up in. I have grandparents in Maryland and grandparents in Massachusetts. Uh, Massachusetts grandparents. We were driving around Boston. And the GPS was like not adequately programmed and it kept taking us in circles. circles and he yep, literally, yep, happened he to me literally too. threw it out the window. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would do. Took the GPS and threw it out the window. It's fucking stupid. Baller move. I, I, that's something you always like read people doing online. Like, you don't do that shit in real life. I watched my grandfather just fuck this thing, throw it out the window. Yeah. That was uh, it. Fuck's um, sake, dude. No, I, yeah, no, I mean, I like, like when we go to, North Carolina. When me, Alexis, and my mom, me mama, go to me North mom. Carolina, every we go to we could try to go every year. Sometimes it doesn't work out. The you know the first quarter of every year, maybe beginning of the second quarter of every year ish. Anyway, um, we uh, I really like I like just chilling and seeing the sights because my mom does all the driving because she doesn't let me drive because she's overprotective uh, and because I wouldn't want to anyway. Um, but I have the only issues is that I have now I have a knee problem. 
so I can't my my knee can't be either straightened or uh, bent for long, too long or it hurts like it's excruciating pain, um, which sucks. I don't know what that's about. There's some buildup of something in my but either way. Um, but I love I love just chilling seeing the sights. I like I can I fall asleep easier if I'm comfortable in a car. And I then in a bed. That's fine. I like I like something about things. driving for long distances and not there's something about riding in a car for long distances that makes you sleepy. Yeah, I dude, I, I dig it. I I we uh on the way back the first time we went to North Carolina, it was super illegal. Um we set up an air mattress. We blew up an air mattress in the back of my old van because that's what we used to take to North Carolina. We blew up an air mattress for me that and uh, me Alexis and both dogs, dude. It was so sick. We were just passed out with the with dogs. Like where do you where do you pull where do you sleep? You just pull over on the road to find a parking lot. Well, my mom doesn't sleep. Oh, so you just have someone drive you as you sleep? Yeah, my my mom is driving fourteen hours while I passed out in the back. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) Um, just making sure we clarify that. Yeah, yeah, no, she she no, yeah, no, she she. Go, she goes to sleep at an adequate time, wakes up at an adequate time. I go to sleep at 11, wake up at 2 a.m., and then just get in the car and go back to sleep. Um, um, but I, I, I love I love seeing the sights and everything. It's really nice. Like, so road trip's pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. I agree. The great... Oh, wait. There are way more romantic cities in Paris. I don't give um, a fuck. I don't Who give a fuck. I, fuck I, I'm going to Europe in a couple weeks. I have zero interest in going to France. I even have French blood in me. I don't me too. I, I'm half French. I don't give a fuck about France. I took my 23 in me. I have a significant portion of, I, unfortunately I'm mostly British Irish. Unfortunately, that's like, like 50, 60% of me. I, who cares? I don't care. Yeah. Um, I, but I'm, I, then I have a good bit of me. That's German. I'm going to Germany and Switzerland and my, my family, um, where my grandmother came from, her family escaped like Nazi Germany and everything and um, set up a whole market in like DC and shit. That's where she comes from. Uh, and uh, they came from a town on the border of Germany and Switzerland. So I'm excited to like be there this year and like try to, I, I speak a little bit of German. I'm hoping it's like a bucket list thing to like go there and try to speak some German. Super stoked about what, it. But, what part, what part of <laughs> your 23 and me were you like, did you find interesting? Like, obviously if you're a white mutt, that's probably not that, that interesting. That I'm, that I'm, a 0.2% African. Is that, uh, is that, is that what, like, is it just the non white shit that is interesting to you? Yeah. I mean, I mean, so like for me, I, I wanted to know how, what percentage of German I was because I knew my grandmother came from there. I was surprised about how low it was. She must not be a pure blood German either. She must have had something else in her and then she came over. But, um, I, I'm a little bit disappointing about that. Um, yeah, it, it's like, it's like, most of it I kind of already knew, but I wanted to see what the percentages shook out to. And then I'm a little bit Greek and a, l- uh, a little bit Greek. That surprised me. I'm Jewish. I didn't know that. Um, I'm like a good part Jewish. I'm like. Didn't you say your four- grandmother was in Nazi Germany? Yeah. My grandmother. My grandmother. Um, oh, I guess you don't have to be Jewish Germany, to be Nazi Germany. Germany. I don't know the, why well, the, I made so that connection. The, honestly, honestly, the Jewish part comes from my mother. My mother's like, no, um, we found out because she did 23 and me too. She's like 7% Jewish or something. Oh. And so I'm like, I'm like 4% Jewish. Um, You'd be 4% not much, dead still like little, 80 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 4% <laughs> dead. Um, I, I'm, I'm part Greek. Just interesting. I don't know. It's yeah. not totally white, but yeah, for me it was mostly like you're part Jewish and you're a little bit like less than one percent, like not enough to do anything with uh, sub-Saharan African. Do you want to know? It's interesting. Do you want to know what my res- results were? What to, for the my? I think I did ancestry.com at twenty three and me. Um, it was uh, white from top to bottom. There was nothing <laughs> above well, white mom- there. My, my mom was 100% white. She had a little bit of the Ashkenazi Jewish in her. Again, that like 7%. But aside from that, it was 100% white. I'm like which the, is why when I got mine back and it said like Greek, Nordic, um, Sub-Saharan African, I was like, whoa, there's something on my dad's side yeah, that's I got like, like going crazy. I got some like much in me, like uh, Scottish. So I'm like... So like on twenty three and me, they on twenty three and me, they just lump the whole British Isles into yeah. one thing. So for me, it's like British, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, like all that stuff is all listed yeah. as like British, Irish on twenty three and me. So I, I can't tell you where in there I'm yeah. from, but somewhere in there, I'm painfully white, bro. It's it's it is it is like if there was any human that could be racist, it would be me. Clip. 
Um, <laughs> anyways, fuck Paris. I hear everything I hear about people going to France. Um, look, oh, yeah. Look, okay. This shit, I'm a foodie. I like food. I'm sure I'd love the food in France. I'm sure I'd see some of the sites and it's beautiful in the French countryside. I'm, I'm sure it's all great. I would have a good time in France. Everyone I know that's been to France has told me that people aren't great. It's like dirty and smelly. It's expensive. It's long waits for everything. It's just super unaccommodating. And honestly, like French history is really interesting, right? The French Revolution and all that oh, stuff. Yeah. But like, I'm just, there's not a lot there for me. You yeah. know, I spent my time talking to, when I was younger, talking to my grandmother from, uh, who came from Germany and shit. And that was always my area of interest. But like, I don't know. The rest of it's whatever. Zach, we, yeah. me, me and you, regurgitated boys. Yeah. We take a flight, go to go to go to France. Oh, we should just see for ourselves. Well, this this wasn't this was a, a more of a hypothetical than anything, but yeah. Oh, okay. Say so, say so, say so, so we say so we do this right. Uh, we go to a, we go to a place. We get some food. They they bring out some frog legs. What do we do? We eat them. Well, you can get frog legs in America. That's a that's a, from that's the American. I mean, you can, I mean, you can get, get probably French anything too, that they make in, but it'll be made. No, in a, but like frog legs are a very American South thing too. That's like Cajun food, man. Well, do you eat them? Uh, I think I had them once. How about escargot? Once. I've never had escargot before. That's not an American thing. That's a French thing for sure. Would you eat it? I hear escargot tastes really good. I think I would try it, but it would gross the shit out of me too. It. I'll tell you, I had it. Uh, it's good. You 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 got you got to oil it up a lot, um. But uh, it it is like eating a slug. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It's like eating it's like eating a slug that doesn't that doesn't taste what you what you think a slug would taste like. We only got three more hot takes, Benjamin. Okay, hit me with them. The Great Pyramids aren't as great as they oh, look in the photos. Fuck up about the Great Pyramids, <laughs> dude. Pyramids. <laughs> pyramids. <laughs> Uh, seeing the world should be on everyone's bucket list. Nobody cares about seeing the world. What's the next one? I I, I would like to, but I don't think everyone. They, yeah, live you ever, your life however oh, you want to. Dude, Zach, did you ever watch the Buried Life on MTV? I don't know what the fuck you're talking dude, about. It was it was the it was the show that they had the the my life be like ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> I know that song. You know that song, and they 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 played like basketball with Obama. And it was like a whole show where they did the bucket list stuff. It was so good. It it literally was like a dream that I that it, it made me inspired. I still can't get over the you know the song ooh uh, <laughs> and I just I know exactly what the show is without even having to see it. Dude, it's so it it's so it was so good. It was called The Buried Life. It was so good. I watched it. I watched a few clips of it recently. It wasn't as good as I thought it was. But as a kid, it was fucking fire, <laughs> dude. And by the way, by the way. I used to also watch the the MTV love shows. I think I said that last episode, but um, I loved them. I loved them because there was like one pretty girl in some of them. And I was like, oh, pretty girl boobs. You should learn the language before you travel. I mean, how much? I'm like, going fluently? to Iceland and I'm not learning Icelandic. So uh. you like fluently learn every language before you go there. <laughs> yeah, no. you should be a polygot before you go. But what you should do is you should learn. Here's my take. What you should do is you should learn very basic. Thank you. Please. Uh, you hospital. Know, hospital. Something like basic. Frankenhaus. Things that you you would need to learn to know with if you were completely on your own. Be like, you know, if you had like a map, you know, where's this or something, you know, very, very direct things. Um. Biblioteca. Biblioteca means pen. Um, if you want to make friends, uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say this. Never mind. I mean, do you want to want to just cut it? Cut here. Um, yes, yeah, so that's my take on on that. On the. Uh... <laughs> You know we're bad when two episodes in a row I'm like, I gotta tell you something really bad but you gotta cut it. And so, then it just cuts back. <laughs> Anyways, we so, couldn't share that one. So you I know, think there's nothing wrong going on behind the scenes there. I think that that regurgitated has has kind of come to a point where it's more structured than I wanted it to be. Which is fine. Oh, you want it to be more unhinged? Okay, here's my thing though. Look at the start of this episode. We didn't know what the fuck to talk about. And it was a little all over the place and took a while to get to the point where we're at now Mm -hmm. where we're free flowing and where it, it, it is where it should be. Right. So to mm -hmm. me, the solution to that is to come in prepared with stuff, right. To like help that start off. Because like to me, the, the, the most important part about making something is the, 
beginning, right? Like you got to capture people's interest mm-hmm. in the beginning because otherwise no one's going to stick around and watch what your, what your bullshit is later, which is why I try to prepare for some stuff. But I don't dislike the idea of being less prepared either. I just think when we do that, it's less, you know what I mean? Like it takes yeah. a while, a I, bit of mucking about through nothing to get to something. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you. Um, the, when I say structured, I just mean like I wanted people to come in here, shoot the shit, you know, talk about um, whatever. And I, I like I edit it more structured than I was hoping to edit it and, and shit like that. So the OK, so the original uh, idea for regurgitated was in my head podcast open mic type deal someone come and come in start it start it start a, a conversation um you know you know shoot shoot the shit say whatever they want they didn't have to feel like they were on camera they could just be, be themselves and um not many people have joined they guess you got sean and marcia and and and, and i got isaiah, isaiah. and isaiah. i got two guests you got one i know I so far i'm outnumbering you you just guess. have better friends is what that sounds like to me no i wouldn't um, say that but. <laughs> um I could have Ethan and his friend Ben come on here and completely derail the show, but that'll be, it'll be out of, it'll be out of our control entirely. You'll just have to let them come in and just roast everything for an hour. I want this to feel like you can say something fucked up and just be like, cut that. And then we can cut it. Yeah. Like when you when like when like when you called me the n word three times in a row, five minutes ago. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I called him. Not, 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 not the n word. Uh, um, yeah, I, I like. I kind of like where the podcast is now. I, I would like it to derail more. Personally, I like the chaos. It's funny because I feel like the feedback you get from your friends is like, "Oh, it's changing too much. It's a little too all over the place." And you're like, "We need more of that." I need. Like, I, need, I, need, need, need but I do like because I because I, I like I like how this show is like the antithesis to like other shows. Like you could say because you're abs- if someone were to look at this, you'd be like, "Oh, it's what everyone else is doing." You're absolutely right, except for we lean into that and take that to a, to a different level, right? Yeah. Like where our faults are, like that is kind of the point, yeah. you know? Yeah, I, I I I just want this to be a second. My my my. I mean, this is going to sound fucking stupid, but I've always wanted this to be a second monitor podcast. Like you're a playing second a, what? A second monitor. Like you're you're playing a game on one screen and on your other screen is the podcast. It's not something, something you have to pay too much or close attention to. We're not saying anything fucking, mm. you know, uh, uh, um, uh, enormously smart, intellectual, or just absurd. We're just being fucking stupid and we're just shooting the shit. I've I always been fucking stupid. My uh, my 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 goal with this was to be a second monitor podcast. Like I don't want this to be something you just sit down and watch on its own. And I think most podcasts are second monitor podcasts. Um, I don't think there are too many where you have to see if you, you, you want to be watching every second. Um, My, again, I, I think that we both have expressed some goals to do like other, other things though, too. I think like mm-hmm. there's a, a, a vision of a future. If this thing is more successful than what it is now, where there's like this right kind of home base, like, Hey, we're just talking, having people on and stuff. And then there's like some other shows that a mm-hmm. are good for like, Hey, there's consistency on the channel or whatever. But also like if you're into this, you can actively more actively watch this shorter thing that we do or the something problem, not now, but like in the future, future, right? Like the, the problem is I want, I want a host to each show. So it would have to, one of us, one of us would have to be in every piece of content, mm. which is fine, which is fine. But I like, I would want, like, if I want to make ejaculated, Right. If I, that sounds so stupid, if I want to make ejaculated, I'd be the host of ejaculated. You'd my be a guest my of only concern with ejaculated is the rest of the channel yes, getting shut yeah, down for something or ineligible for something. Um, but uh, like, and if you wanted to make uh, sneeze, the sneeze or the earwax, the sneeze, if you want to make earwax or whatever earwax. I could talk about music forever. I could get Ethan in to talk about music um, for if you 20 to hours every day. Earwax, you'd be the host and I would be a guest whenever I you know wanted to hop on. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I want, I want there to be. This is the main. This is the main thing, and I want this this to be where the both hosts are on. All, all, we are both hosts of this, but every other thing I would want, you know, you know, probably just one host. Um, yeah, which makes it more difficult to do this more often because I'm the I'm the really the only editor. I mean, I, I'm sure you would not mind, especially now editing. I would help. I would help but, if needed for yeah. sure. But you've you've kind of taken sole 
ownership of the editing of the show, which is fine by me. I just know how to make a shit post. I'm the I passenger will princess of this show. Um, dude, I, 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 I gotta say, and this is going to be cut out. So. I, I also think you're, you're, you're better suited for the full podcast editing thing on this end. Cause I know that like by the end of an episode, I'd get like burnt out on it. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I used be like, to, all right, I, I'm just rushing through shit. I so. did. I, I've, I've edited an, uh, almost, almost exactly half of the last week's episode. So this is episode 11, episode 10. Uh, I put a little more effort into, and I'm sure people that watched both of these can tell, um, Maybe I don't. I don't know how I'm going to edit this episode, dude. It'll be future me's problem. But. Time machine. Time machine. Time machine. Wait, what did I just say? Um, <laughs> it's like back in like black and white, and it yeah. says like 1942 down here, and it's like, <laughs> oh golly gee, I sure don't want to go to the war. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Um, but uh. I'm like halfway done editing that episode and I, I just rewatched you listening, you guys listening to, so we listened to the possum and a peanut song and then we yes. listened to the hang and 10 song and the hang and 10 song. I, I was like, okay, maybe this will have like lead to a similar reaction to the possum and a peanut song. It didn't do that. Um, it was kind of very cringe uh, and I think Sean was just, he likes the song and he just wanted to show it to you because he likes it. Cause you know, I, I liked it too. Uh, I, but you, you, neither of you said anything <laughs> because I have it right now. So the, the, the discord audio is, is, is isolated. <laughs> so the other, uh, uh, so the, the, the music. We're not on discord. This is, we're in the same room, just different different sides right dude if, if we gotta get a clip of like me turning around being like this and you're just right there um, <laughs> there's some way we can make that happen yeah. um i still uh, want to do cold opens i know that i'm derailing the conversation i have a to figure lot, out what i'm gonna for, do with that i want to i want to do that too I just because like you gotta put something even if it's just like a little clip of a highlight beforehand because if have you look an at idea. the again i hate to be the marketing guy on all this shit but like if you look at the viewer retention graph 90% of people bl- watch off of our video, click off of our videos before the little intro graphics even over. I have to 90%, find 90%. Like it's stupid. I have to find maybe not a cold open, but I have to find a way to, cause I don't like when people say late, like later in this episode or something like that, I have to find a way to reword that, but I want it. I'm just going to, you've already seen this viewer. So it doesn't really matter. What my thought was, was adding like at the beginning of the episode, just like a little like zoom in of, of like just the funny clips similar to like the, the trailer, but a, a I just think you could clips. make you put the whole trailer at the beginning, but then you have to re-render the whole thing. It's, yeah. I could figure that out. It, 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 um, but, uh, yeah, well, we'll figure this out off the air. I'm yeah. sure yeah, at no, some sure. point, um, it's, there's no rush to it or anything too. I just, I see that graph and I'm like, yeah. Definitely something at the beginning, Surely. but I know that you're the, 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 this is your baby, the full episode. So I'm Why not going to step on toes there. Why did I bring all this up? Dude, Zach, so, you're fucking me up. It's your fault, not mine. I know Sean's not here. Do you want to just do the Dolly war anyways? <laughs> we mean, can be objective with which one's better. We can just be objective with which one's better. Okay. Hello, everybody. This is the doll E. What is it's it the called? Dolly War, Dolly Battle, Dolly Battle. Dolly, this is the Dolly, Dolly Battle. War. I don't. We're just. We are just picking which one's better out of the ones we made. They. They are all pretty fucked up. We each came up with ten. Ten. We were supposed to have someone objectively judge this and react to our own, but we don't have that person anymore. So we're 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 we're, we're, we're leaning into this. Yep. Please don't click off the video. Look at me. Zoom in on me. Don't click off this yet. I I I promise. We put effort into making the best dolly ai creations for you for you specifically for you there you're gonna kick out of this video you know you, go ahead you know what's funny about this um me and ethan use uwu fufu for other things too and we've created our own of these ranking systems for other music and people actually click on them and play them so we can revisit this later and see what other people think um and if you're watching this you can find this and vote too video viewers hello we love you and audio, this isn't going to be an audio version anyway. So what, who am I talking to? Um, this, listen to the fun music in the background. This is the Dolly battle. All right. Um, so, okay. So uh, what? <laughs> okay. So Zach, you did, what does it say? The Grinch feet picks. 
the Grinch feet pics. Which, yes, they look they look fire, dude. This is some fire really dolly good. creations. They and you used really you good. didn't use dolly. You used crayon. Oh, I'm I'm fucking stupid. I that's what I thought we were using, but it's fine. Um, I, I used, have the real I have the real dolly, so we'll yeah. see how. So um yes, yeah, so I did SpongeBob George Bush, and none of them look like a George Bush. <laughs> that is just that is just, <laughs> that is just SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Yeah. So I mean I, I kind of like it though. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. What is the one that looks most like George Bush out of these, do you think? Um hmm. The middle right. <laughs> this one? This yeah, one looks the that, most uh, like George Bush? Yeah, yeah, because he did 9-11. <laughs> That's a <laughs> devious little face. Okay, so I think objectively yours is probably better. I mean, look at these fucking feet. Look at this. Look at this. Who's this? I like I like seeing... I like that was a nice little detail where Dolly put the reflection of a naked little Grinch <laughs> in the background. And then also the little painted nails, too. I do like that one. Oh, that is good. I think it's mine, but I think if you yours. disagree, I you think can coin yours. flip it or something. Uh, I agree that it's yours. All right, all right. Next one. Next up. Okay, so, so these two, are both mine. It's two of yours. Uh, salad tongs, but awesome. Uh, that is not a, even a set of salad tongs. That looks like a a, 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 a <laughs> bottle opener. That it looks, looks like, like something that they put that they put in ladies at the doctor's office. True, the clamp. This is no. This one looks. Like, I don't think it's a clamp. I don't looks, think it's a clamp. Yeah, the pap but smear go clamp. Ahead. Isn't it called a spectrum or something? Yeah, or? yeah. Now I'm, I'm, now I'm, I'm, I'm on the fucking spectrum. Up, but it's definitely not a clamp. Um, this is the thing that you you do that to make to crimp your eye eye eyelashes, right? More like it. And yeah. this looks like a nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like a baby smoking a cigarette. Wait, what is this? Hold on, let me read it. Uh, a detailed, hyper realistic painting of a baby who vapes a tree spear. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's I think it's smoking out of its cheek backwards. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, dude, we should have, we should definitely, dude, this is so fucking funny. This one is vaping, vaping a bottle. It is vaping a bottle. I didn't even realize that. These, these, these That's are, awesome. They should make bottles that vape for you, dude. Okay. So this, this, this one's really cool too. I don't know why the, the, the bottle's smoking, but, um, okay. Thoughts on this? I, I, I kind of, out of the two creations, I think that the, the babies are funnier. But I think that the the salad tongs, but awesome, are, are cooler. Thoughts? I just I think it's the babies. Salad tongs, but awesome, is a funnier prompt for sure. But I don't like the creations it made. I think it has less less potential to make a run later. You think so? Yeah, I think I'm I babies. really like the baby with the backward cigarette in his cheek. I really think that's <laughs> that funny. is gonna fire though. That's I like an album cover, funny. dude. Yeah, you to put the parental advisory over that. We'll go. We'll go with the babies. We'll go with the babies. All right, what do we got next? Ben 10. I hate this. Okay. So Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. Again, it's just Donkey Kong. It's just Donkey Kong, but really fucked up. I really like the one in the bottom left. I think that he's really killing it in the bottom left. He's really doing a move there. Uh, oil painting of Possum as president. Dude, the third That's one our, is so good. We salute. We salute. I can get you higher res That's versions just, of these if you want. That's just George Bush. Am I dumb? The first one is that just is George, George Bush. Bush, and then on both ends of it is just Jimmy Carter. Holy shit, dude! And dude, the third and we salute the third one, and is so good. I do like that third one a lot. That that um, middle left one is just Boris Johnson from the UK. <laughs> yeah, that is the, yeah, I agree. And uh, how about how about the one on the top left of mine? He's pretty cute. Little Jimmy Neutron looking monkey. Dude, I got to be honest. All of my prompts were good, but the ex the things that came out of them really got sucked. Next talk. time we do, we'll do this again if you want, and we can get on the same playing field yeah. with Dolly if you want. I can run it through my end. Um, I'm definitely going with the oil paint. The 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 possum in it fucking I'm happy suit. we're being objective. I'm sorry. Your 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 my creations suck ass, yeah. dude. Okay, Here hold on. Both now, now, now we're talking. Getting hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude, this is actually so good. This one, this lady's already on the ground, though. I um, like the one. I like the one middle right where her just head is gone instantly. <laughs> like, like it's it's just instant decapitation. That's a cool card. A uh, three render of cute anime girl eating raw chicken. I mean, this, this one's not even. This one's not even. Is she eating 
there's just a chicken on her lap and she's, she's eating. just eating chicken. chicken yeah she's just eating the one the only one that's closest is where there's a, a, a live chicken uh standing in front of her eating chicken which yeah. i guess is raw technically but yeah man these are both good the, dude the anime girls are so cute and kawaii the, the anime girls themselves are like i can't believe dolly created that but the, it didn't accurately reflect on the prompts i think getting hit by a car is Killed still it. so good. It, 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 it hit everything. Yeah, I'm going. I'm on going the right with, level. I'm going hit with a getting hit with a car. Absolutely. Yeah, so good. There you go. Um, uh, okay. Ben versus Ben. Possum in a peanut. Dude, these possums are all just mice. It's so weird. But they're cute too. But they're also not in the peanut. They're just holding peanuts. Just, this one has a floating peanut. That one's pretty cool. And right? Also, I don't understand why vegan with a raging boner it's just, is just <laughs> chickpeas and beans. Yeah, I, I also <laughs> don't understand that either. Dude, that shit's so funny to me. I saw that. And I started laughing. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> it's just soups. I, I oh, look, wait, wait, hold on. Look at the possum. Look at the possums. Bottom right. Huh? He's cute. Look at the top left. He's fucked up. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, what do you think? Who do you like more? I like the I like the right middle. He's three feet. Oh my god! I didn't even see that. Yeah. Well, I I, I think vegan with a raging boner is funnier. Um, I think vegan with a raging boner is much cu- funnier. They're they're not as cute as the possums, but they're also not possums either. Yeah. So. Very true. Very true. We'll, we'll go vegan. We'll go all vegan. Right, right, I agree. I agree. I'm two, two more of mine. Ray William Poor Johnson brushing ben. teeth. Dude, <laughs> these look fucked up. This is like horror. This is horrifying. Look at this guy. It looks like like if a cleft lip attacked you. Jesus Christ. That guy upper left just looks like he's tearing off his face. No, It's horrifying. Versus vomit podcast. <laughs> these are actually like really cool looking. I like those as a graphic design perspective. Right? The, the it's bottom, not as funny, but I, I, I like the um, I like the effort it put in. The bottom left one is fucking Cthulhu, though. Oh yeah, look at that! I like yeah. how like the bottom right it, it almost tries to like make the Spotify logo right a little bit. I thought the same yeah. thing, and I think the top right is supposed to be like a microphone in between, uh, uh, underneath vomit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, the top right looks like an ISIS flag, though. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good logo. <laughs> it looks like it looks like the last thing you see before you get your head cut off. All right, since these are both mine, which one do you think is better? Uh, I think I'm going vomit podcast just from a different perspective. But yeah, I agree. Know. I agree with you. All right. <laughs> no. Oh wait, that's fake, dude. You little goofball. You can't do that to me. What? I, I was like, how did you get that picture? And then I and then I realized. Wait, what does it say? A chiropractor doing a. Doing jumping off wait. <laughs> chiropractor doing jumping off a table. Oh, did I mistype? Doing I think a I mistyped. wrestling move on his client. <laughs> that that is the fucked up sentence. That is the fucked I up think, sentence. I think I tried to write like a bunch of different ways of it. I think I would try to write like a chiropractor doing an RKO on his client and it didn't work and I erased some of it and then wrote like pile driver and it didn't work and then I redid it as like wrestling move. So it probably reads fucked up. But the prompts are I, I like the chiropractor like Ju- about to like sit on the face of his client just midair. Dude, that one's really good. All, all the other ones are. I mean, this guy is just fucking his client. <laughs> like, this is that, just, guy, that guy is just riding his client. He's getting he's getting, he's getting clapped. And this and, is, then, and then center right is just fucking trying to punt, killer. push yeah. the chair. Yeah. yeah, just absolutely. Yeah. It's not even wrestling at that point. He's attempting to murder that woman. So you can and then read the prompt for the next one. Jeffrey Epstein. So you can you can include a picture with it you can create variations of pictures so i can upload a picture in a dolly and it'll just remake the picture and then you can type in different things so i could like upload a picture of whatever i want and type in like 3d render and it'll just make a 3d render out of whatever the picture is that's where i could do oil painting or whatever but they also have this feature where you can remove elements of a picture and then insert whatever you want so in this picture i took a picture of you and your friend at six flags erased your friend and wrote jeffrey epstein so it was trying to put in jeffrey epstein in place of you. It was supposed to be creating a picture of you with Jeffrey Epstein to blackmail you was the goal here. I think the right one is definitely the winner here out of these two because I'm in it. Thoughts on that? No, I think it's by far the chiropractor. I think there's none of them actually look like Jeffrey Epstein. Although I will say I like the picture of you with the black guy. Um, I don't know why it thought that was Jeffrey Epstein, but I think that's a, <laughs> I think that's a banger picture. 
of you there. No, true. We can, we can throw that up. We can throw that up. Uh, I'll give you the full render yeah, yeah, yeah. of that one. You can throw that up big screen. I just like that picture a lot. Okay, um, but I, I'm going chiropractor. You, we can flip a coin if you disagree on this. No, I'm I'm down. I'm fine with going because they're 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 pretty similar. I just like that I was in that one. Okay. All right, dude. My dogs are fucked, dude. Look at the dog in the top right. That's oh, uh, that's a fucked up dog. Dog with three mouths and four eyes. To be fair, you're asking for it. If yeah. anything, that's the closest one. None of them succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what is it called? Ben Paquette from the regurgitated podcast Reg all right. all right is Bug okay tongue. yeah it's actually close Rigu Rig Rig Ruik Bug Tongue Beck 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 the Mockter Reg It doesn't do text very well that's <laughs> the one thing not. that Dolly fucks up dude I, I don't know because these are both good I like I like it's so these are so I'll give funny. it to you this time. I'll give it to you this time, even though none of them are truly accurate. The I just right think mine are is so fucking gross. I think that's why I'm giving it to you though. I think like if it wasn't for that top right dog, I think I think it, my opinion would be changed. You think so? I look so bald in this wait, look at me right now. I look so bald, don't I? You look fine. Alright. Dog it is. <laughs> 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 Alright, round two. Yeah, now we gotta do it's a whole tournament. Okay. Getting hit by a car or a vegan with a raging boner. <laughs> it's just so funny that it's soup, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> I do I do I do think it's just it's funny that it's just soup. Uh <laughs> I was trying I to get know, a I picture just keep of looking Sean. at that woman with no head under a car. <laughs> um, oh, oh my god. Um I'll give it to you with the soup here. Because I know that I'm about to run I'm about to do a clean sweep of some future pick so I'll give you this yeah, meta game dude um um it's just soup it's not even funny <laughs> but it's funny that it's it all is the just same soup. soup it's like all the very simple yeah, I don't know <laughs> why it just had one idea and then ran with it. it it had a good idea with the garnish though it knew to garnish the soup oh man I don't know I mean I'll go with I'll go with your soup the soup pick Let's go. Two of mine. Are you going baby or possum president here? Which one is more defines us better? I don't know. Because I think the prompt for the left one is better, and those pictures are fire. But that third picture from possum as president so is just good. so good. It's so good. That's like a that's like a thumbnail picture. I'm curious to hear your take here because I don't know how where I'm going. So I like the babies, but I'm so impressed by the possums. Okay, that would kind of with possums. I, I think would, the babies are funnier, and again, I like the one baby bounce like resting the cigarette on the bouncy ball. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we, we can go possum. Yeah, let's go possum. Let's go possum. Okay, I I I already have my answer. <laughs> What is your answer? The Grinch feet are. The thing about it is that it's it looks really good, but it's just feet. It's just green. It is feet. just feet. Although the second one has some context yeah. going on there yeah. that you can read into. But the so second I think I'm one with in, you. I think I'm chiropractor on the, this yeah, one. Yeah, the second one in the chiropractor is so funny. He is railing that woman. <laughs> like <laughs> I do like him, but I, I think the first one on the chiropractor is my favorite. That was really what I had in mind when I wrote that prompt. Was the chiropractor just in the air? About to just fucking trounce some woman. I'm telling you, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's gonna have to be chiropractor. Yeah, let's go. With like, that. I just want to see what follows in the next few frames. Oh shit! I think I'm going vomit podcast here, and it's not even that funny. I just think the dogs are just dogs, you know. The dogs are just dogs. Other than the top right one, I mean, they, some of them look a little fucked, but the top right one is really the big, the big issue here. Um. Yeah, let's do my podcast. I agree with you. Oh, shit. Chiropractor. Come on. Chiropractor. Yeah, I mean, it's just the vomit podcast isn't funny. Okay, vegan <sighs> soup or This is all peanut. you. This is all you, dog. What are you going here? It's just, it. it's so tough because the, the vegan soup with a raging boner is just soup, dude. It's a funny interpretation of the prompt it's for sure. It's just soup. 
But is it just being soup enough to beat Possum as president? The content of Possum as a president is funnier, but the context that vegan with a raging mm. boner is the prompt for fucking soup is so but funny. But you don't also think the meta context of Possum and a Peanut as the original song and gag gift I is know, now president I of know. the United States now? Wait, 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 you have the fucking backstory behind this guy? Um, I gotta give it to you, dude. I gotta give it to you. I mean, you 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 won the battle for sure. Because out of these two, oh my god, now this is the hardest choice. I think I'm going chiropractor. It's just that second picture. I mean, each of these, each of these have a best picture. This one is the sec second, and this one is the third. Oh, sorry, the 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 the, the chiropractor fucking the, the the rail just absolutely railing the woman <laughs> is, is the better one, and then the, the I want to animate that picture. I want to just. I'm going chiropractor. Yeah, chiropractor's the winner. Okay. You want to do a quick news segment and we can wrap this episode up? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you, Ben. It is I, Chet Breasts, here with the local news. <laughs> Today's local news is brought to you by cars. Honk, honk. They go fast. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, this past weekend, a pride of lions were airlifted from the Ukraine to Colorado in, uh, quote unquote, the biggest ever war zone rescue of lions. Well, this is certainly good news. I am concerned as the U.S. usually treats the refugees by separating families and holding them in cages for large amounts of time. Dude, they do that. We have they do Mexican that. They border. do that for Mexican border. Yeah, for yeah, little uh, Trump like the little kids in cages. Yes, I'm concerned yes. the lions will be treated the same way. Yeah. Um, Dangerous too. <clears throat> If you remember from a few weeks ago, um, Hans Hans Neiman, that uh, famous yep, chess cheater. player, yep. who um, yeah, well, I forget which one was the cheater, but um, one of them was a world-renowned chess player, and uh, the other one was an up-and-coming child prodigy, and ended up cheating with a little vibrating uh, butt plug, giving him all the yep. answers. Yep. So um, you know, Hans Neiman files one hundred million dollar lawsuit against Magnus Carlsen, great name, amid allegations that he cheated using a vibrating butt plug. I, for one, am looking forward to the OJ style, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit moment. Ooh, because he's a kid. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Chet Breasts does not approve of that. <laughs> Wait, is so that not Chet, what you... Was that, no, I meant that I want to see them put a, put a, try to put a, an anal sex toy in, in a, in a court. Okay, so what your joke wasn't that you that the, <laughs> that the butt plug was too small for a little kid butthole. Is what? what? Why is he? He's not a little. He's an adult. He's just a you younger just said he kid. Was a child prodigy. Oh, he's not a child though. Okay, I don't think he's a little child. I thought you were I making. I have to a Google this joke now. Hold on, give me one second. We're gonna take a quick break. Hans <laughs> Neiman. <laughs> 19 barely 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 legal barely barely <laughs> put it in court baby oh uh, barack obama says democrats need to avoid being a buzzkill man that ought to lighten the mood wait i don't get it because it seems like it's a bit of a buzzkill thing to do to say just quit being a buzzkill it's like now the mood's for CNN uh, reports a, a, a game changer for millions of Americans. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Try again. Okay. I definitely miswrote this because I skipped the punchline and then wrote the punchline later. Uh, I'll, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh mm -hmm. my God, the news is fucked up. Good, Hire good, good, me good. CNN, please. Hi, I'm Chad all right, Breasts. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, we're, we're, we're extending this for a little bit longer. Uh, CNN uh, reports a game changer for millions of Americans. You can now buy hearing aids over the counter. Repeat, you can now buy hearing aids over the counter. Because they can't hear. Repeat, you can now buy hearing aids over the counter. That's it for the news this week. I'm Chet Boobs. Thank um, you, Chet Breasts. Um, uh, peace out. Peace out. Israel. Israel. See you, Israel. The news, the, the news has zero comments on Israel. Crazy that you that you said that, that, that a butt plug could fit a kid's ass. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I that it was a misunderstanding, but you did say that you wanted to see a butt plug in a kid's show ass. Is like, this show is like fine wine; it gets better with age. <laughs> oh. All right, that's our show, everyone. All right, um, thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming out, uh, audio listeners. I hope uh, you didn't listen.
<laughs> uh, and then if you're for some reason you're actually listening to this point, uh, I guess we could be real for a second and just say that the, the, the episodes with the timelines might be off for the next this episode of the oh, next one. Yeah. Pre-recording so, stuff in advance. Okay. We're taking uh, a bit of October or November off. Yeah, it does it doesn't it's okay. So um just just for clarity's sake, you, anybody who doesn't want to listen to this, just it, it is not important. Um plan is uh um and it, time if the time allows it i'm going to try to release every other friday throughout november um because zach is 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 getting the fuck out of here for november um yeah, hopefully well, i'll be back for like the last week or two of november and, and we can ho- start recording again there but we're bulking some recordings ho- beforehand yeah and hopefully it won't be like a month off like we did uh this last <laughs> uh, right before episode from, from 90 yeah. 10, it was like a month difference so hopefully it won't be like that there, there we'll was see. some weird personal stuff lining up there but yeah yeah, yeah uh can i make a funny joke there no. i gotta think of one first oh okay um sean wanted all of the adsense and he <laughs> called zach's parents to request the adsense <laughs> that's very personal okay all right bye <laughs> <laughs>